I had a homie who uh, opened up a notary service. And look, at this is the logo I made from. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. That's pretty dope. I like the way they give oh, it that's up. cool. And they're kind of clean. really cool. Simple. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. But that's not embroidery friendly. Why is that's that not embroidery friendly? <laughs> you, not you don't think embroidery that's embroidery a lot of work. Friendly. Is it really? Yeah. Is it because of the circles? The little circles? Let me see it again. It's, it's only thin in the, the pan thin. right there. Yeah, everything's Gucci. <clears throat> No, it's good. That's good. The only thing with embroidery, it wouldn't fade like that. Oh yeah, of course. That's I mean, I could that. make it. That's fade for that their way. logo for like the top of their website. You know what I mean? It's yeah. just a little. It's just a little gif. It's pretty good, man. A little gif. Did you fucking jump into that already? Whose idea was this? It's uh, well, we do something new every week. Okay. This is a and, segment. Um, this a week weekly was my segment. Week. I already, so I already ate my segment. Damn, that's crazy! Out the jump. Sorry. Yeah, it's any, all good. You guys got any it's weekly segments on your podcast, dude? Is there anything that you guys? Other, and you know what? The weekly segment I love on your podcast is the the, the taco argument. Yeah, that's my favorite I mean, shit. Yeah, we always talk food, man. Food is always like. I think you lost that battle though in a vote. Nah, man, y'all are wrong. More people said they. That's because we live in fucking Arizona, bro. He just yeah he. Ain't. I knew I was gonna lose it, but like it's not even like a real thing. It's only in Arizona that you put that's yeah. shit so fire though. It's not. It really is. It's good, dude. I Y'all mean, are wrong. It's crazy how many people. The only do thing that. New Mexico got is that green chili shit, dog. That's yeah, really. That's, I that's, mean, your 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 food is trash over there. And Breaking Bad was filmed there. <laughs> like, yeah, bro. Like, I don't fuck with the New Mexican food. Like, Have you ever been like, to Los Pollos Hermanos? It's not, real real place. Place. it's not a real place. Yes, it is. Nope. I seen Johnny Red go to a place like that. Yeah, they they made there. one after. They oh, they made, made one, but it wasn't like a real place before. Like it wasn't like a New Mexico staple, where it was like, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't like it everyone was like, oh shit, Boyos and Manos is on there. I fucking grew up eating there. Right. Like that shit wasn't uh, real. Okay. We're gonna assemble That's... a taco off. No bullshit. You can't. We man. have a big network between the both of us. I think we could get a Rialto filled. Not a Rialto. Uh, <laughs> Congress filled. <laughs> We, we I'm telling you right now, bro. I'm gonna get Chepe. I'm gonna get a bunch of people. They're trash. No, I'm telling you. They everybody's are, gonna bro. make their best. All their You're tacos. gonna have to have like a little Y'all country make, flag. Like, basically, fucking country deep fried flag. like tacos. Deep well, I mean that's what they are. It's just a step. It's just one of the steps in yes, the taco but y'all process. Y'all deep fry the whole shit. Not that like sticking the, it in the whole fryer. Like what do you, you mean? Just yes, each y'all side, do. Each you side. You eat chimichangas, yes. right? Side to side. Side to side. I, I get what you're saying, but you guys understand that's not a taco. That's a taco. That's a taquito. No, a taquito is when you roll it up. I know, but it's the shit. same thing. It's the exact same thing. You're literally taking the chicken. I, I beg to differ, bro. Them. There's so many restaurants Nowhere you go to, and you say the whole country makes a taco like that, except for in Tucson. <laughs> nah, bro. I've, I've been around the world. Elsewhere. Fucking do we're gonna do? We're gonna do yes, you have no, been around the world. But. I have been around the world, and I can guarantee you, Tucson, Arizona, and maybe a couple of surrounding <laughs> cities. Are the only ones that don't even make them like that in Phoenix. Uh, yeah, yes, yes, they do. I've had fried tacos up in Phoenix, dude. But that's like a thing. It's a fried taco. You go anywhere else in the United States. You're talking next, about like soft taco? It's a taco. That is just but a that's taco. That's a soft taco. Though. Like, so it's not. You're not, talking about, you're not talking about the crunchy taco. It's I'm flour talking corn. about like, like my shell and shit. Like, I actually like take it. And lightly fry the shell, but I don't fry everything in it. In at once, yeah. You make the little shell so, like, first, I make and the then shell, you put I, it. Yeah. I lightly fry the shell, <laughs> yes. right? Right, right. And right. just to give it a nice crisp and crunch. Yes. And then I put the fucking the ingredients in the end. Yeah, like the grilled chicken, right? And and the fucking lettuce <sighs> and like... tomatoes and salsa and all that shit, like. You know, you, technically you're right. All it really kind of does is it kind of like gives everything that's inside just more of that grease. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Exactly. It literally fries the shit I'm out of it. I'm not hating on it, but I'm saying like my whole argument has always been that. <coughs> I think it was which one, you, which way is the best way to make it, right? Yeah, and, and I know. And you're saying is. that shredding the, or, or or boiling the chicken oh is your your I beef. Can't. Your no. beef is boiling the chicken, right? Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Okay. My beef is boiling the fucking chicken. <laughs> I can't even keep a straight face thinking about fucking. If I saw, if I walked in and someone was making me tacos, and I saw boiling the chicken, I'd be like, "Yo, you, you give doing? me the chicken a bath like, real quick, what you, bro. What are, you, what are you gonna do with that? What you did making, I do? I, I, I fucking Facetimed you a couple days, yeah. a couple weeks ago of the homie boiling chicken, <laughs> and I'm like, "What's he doing, homie?" And I fucking pan to the fucking pot yep. and it's boiling chicken. Nah, man. 
and that's how you make the chicken, dude. I'm at a stranger's house. That's how. That's, bro, how, that's, that's part of the first part. Is like that's part of the first like, part. Cash uses like chicken breast. Yeah. That's a that's completely Real talk, fucking wrong. George Foreman cooks chicken breasts uncanny, bro. Like you could chop that up fajita does. style, You're right. and it's fire, bro. It's, it's so moist and tender. Chicken. No, I get that. I'm just saying, but the little clamp. But bro, it's not better than a fucking thigh. A, this, this part I will agree with you. You can't use a I mean, breast, bro. No, chicken breast is fire, bro. It, it depends. is fire, for, but for you can't use it for tacos. For different, if you cut it up uh, like fajita things. style. <clears throat> Okay, I get that. It's not gonna be bad. I'm never. It's gonna be met bomb, chicken, shit. But it's gonna I'm be saying, too tough. Yeah, that's the problem, bro. Honestly, the breast, chicken breast, breast meat, <laughs> which off of the George Foreman, it's perfect. <laughs> Real talk, so bro. I'm about right to now, go. Bro. I'm about to go get the George <laughs> you Foreman and your out of the shop. brother are about to go get a whole fuck cook a whole meal on the fucking George <laughs> no, Foreman, bro. bro. Seriously, nah, man. That's Take trash. that shit to the grill, dude. Order up. Order up. Order. up. third voice in this uh, conversation today is our homie Rip D. Hi, everyone. Uh, you know, this is DJ Century. I am the homie Casual, and you tuned in to the Hood Diner Podcast. What's going on, y'all? Episode 26. Yes, sir. I miss... I, I, uh, Rip D! In the motherfucker. When I sent you notes earlier, I put 25. I just copy and paste. I get you. You know what I'm saying? That I was like you. the least important thing to edit. It's because I haven't put 25 out. I've been lacking on Right, that. right, right, right. We've already recorded one, and I haven't put the other one out. I've been slacking. Like kind of you busy. what? Oh, I got yep. five podcasts. Am I? Am I? Is that shit? You hear you? Your levels are good. Okay, as long as they're good. Yeah, I got it's about. I got though. about five in the hole right now on our podcast that we never even put out. Really? Yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, you need to put them. You need to put them shits out, dude. Them shits were I do, funny, man. dude. I, I love talking with Cash and shit. Um, Cash is my brother, man. Cash is a cool dude, man. Yeah, he's great. Cash the one with Runsky was one of my favorite ones. Runs, runs, runs the man, bro. Dude, hearing your stories from back home was good. Yeah, we got some interesting. Where are you from? New Mexico. Okay. Carlsbad is where I grew up. I went to college in Albuquerque at the University of New Mexico. Nice. Once I finished up, I uh, moved out here, got a job and shit. Yeah, where'd you what work was, with? What was the first job out here? Oh, God. It was like on some finance shit. Just nothing even cool. Yeah, we're well, just paying the bills and shit. Yeah, I mean, I eventually signed my own company and did a bunch of shit with it. Yeah, them. yeah. You do, uh, so, what do you do now? Uh, What's the main title? What's the main title? I don't even know. Other man. than entrepreneur. <clears throat> that's yeah. the easiest part. Yeah. That's the easiest title. So, what's one of the, the facets of your empire? Um, I guess, I guess when people ask me what I do, I just tell them I work in the music industry. I'm always trying to find different ways to invest, um, make my money work for me. Um, you know, I set a set an amount that I can live off of every month and everything else is just extra that I spend right. on shows, events, careers, tours, merchandise, fucking equipment, um, advertising, God, you name it. So how'd you first get into music? You play an instrument? Uh, yeah, man. I grew up, uh, my dad, everybody played music in my family. So, uh, and just literally from the moment that I, I, I fucking came out of the womb. I was playing drums. <laughs> well, that's what's up. Singing. When I was... <laughs> funny story. When I was a kid, man, I used to uh, carry around a red guitar. Like, in a Michael Jackson jacket and shit. Oh, where? Nice. I really loved, like, some thriller Richie shit, Valens huh? and shit. <clears throat> oh, for real? So, bro, I... Like, you know how Richie Valens, I mean, would carry his shit, like, at the school and shit? Ah, so, I was literally, like, I had this little red guitar on my back. With a so, you can amplifier. shred? Fuck no. No? No? But, nah, but I can perform. So, oh, bro, so you can play it. So I would like sing a whole song and fake play the guitar and like dance and shit. Dope. Damn. 
Bro, I've been I've never been afraid of like being in front of crowds, bro. I was like, I'm not even kidding. I had to be probably like five, six, seven, like playing guitar at like fiestas and shit, like That's performing what's up. and shit. Like and not even on stage. I just fucking set that thing up and just like perform in front of like all the people there. I get big crowds around me and shit. It yeah. Wild. It dude it, performing in front of people is a fucking it's some it's some scary shit sometimes, you know what I'm saying? You know, I know you know. I've I've been up there when I'm just like, oh my god, bro, like, don't fall off the stage. Whatever you do, <laughs> I'm trying to make sure I remember all my lines and all this shit, dude. Yeah. I was just doing shit part time, but yeah, still, rapping, dude, doing rapping. that shit's crazy. That's no joke, though, man. Like, I don't know. So I, I just, you know, I, I I've been around. Music You've been my playing whole life. music. My brother was a musician. My dad's a musician. My grandma was a musician. My mom played percussion. Like. We just all, it's been a big part of our lives, our whole lives, so. Um, just and you and you DJ as well, right? Always, yeah, yeah. How'd well, you get into DJing? Man, everything has been, everything I've done has been because of necessity. So, like, when I moved here, I was rapping still, put out an album and shit, couldn't find a DJ, I taught myself how to DJ. Um... You know, I couldn't find a producer, taught myself Ableton and how to produce and fucking chop up samples. Um, couldn't find a photographer, taught myself how to use Final Cut um, and Photoshop. Um, mm-hmm. You know, everything has been, couldn't find an investor. Cutting like, out that middle. Money. Like, everything has always been like, <clears throat> yo, this shit's not that difficult. I can't Cutting out that middle, man. A good graphic designer. I can teach myself well enough to right. do this shit. Mm-hmm. Like, everything has always been out of necessity. So... DJing was just like, you know, I'm big on recognizing like what the universe tells me I'm best at. And DJing was just one of those things that was like, all right, this might be something that you could run with. And it's taken me around the world and shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? So um, DJing was the thing that, that really just kind of spoke to me and it, I was just was best at. Would you say that's your main love out of everything you do? Yeah. I the mean, DJing just creating, part. man. Like, you know, there's nothing like, like rocking a crowd when you're in that zone, man. Like DJing, man. Like when you got them going, everybody's fucking right in the palm of your hand doing your call and responses. Yeah. And saying oohs and ahs on every record you drop. And you got everybody forgetting about their day. And like, mm-hmm. just let, man. I, I literally could get like teary eyed looking out sometimes at seeing people just like, fuck it. Vibing. Everything is loose. Like, there's no fucking rent due tomorrow. There's no fucking right. ex-boyfriend calling. Like, just seeing a group of girls having fun, a group of guys fucking hanging out and being silly. Like, I'm with it, man, because shit, life can get heavy. <laughs> how, how long How long would you say you've been DJing for now? Uh, six years, probably. About six, barely? Just six years? Like six. I feel like it's six, been longer, man. Years. That's crazy. Yeah, oh, yeah. That makes sense, though. But it's good, man. So, I mean... I, I, I really just love the music industry, period. You know, I, I, with the management stuff and label stuff as well, like. You own your own label. Yeah, yeah. Talk about so, it. Talk about it. It's Golden Artist Group, man. That's that's my baby. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Golden Artist, man. Yeah, man. Shout out to all that. the motherfuckers on Golden Artist. Started yeah. that like six years ago. Hmm. <sighs> I cracked years, that. Five years ago, man. Nice. Five years ago and. You guys have done some serious ass touring, man. Like I've loved watching yeah, like all the nice videos man. and the Snapchats and the Instagram stories on all the shit that you guys have been through, man. That's some cool Thanks, shit, man. man. Yeah, there's a lot of growth, a lot of sacrifice, a lot of a lot of fun times though, man. We've created some good memories and you know, we got some decent traction right now and we've toured with some big names and created some big great relationships and um I've done some cool shit. So we're Where have you gone to- touring? Oh God! Everywhere I've been to every state, um, multiple times. Um, I mean, I usually go to every state every year. That's dope. At least a couple times. Oh yeah. Like I usually go California to New York. Like, I mean, I I don't know. Fuck. You ever done any out of the country, champ? Yeah, I, I did. Um, that was like the coolest shit, man. I did. I lived in Paris for a couple months, basically. Oh. So like I, uh, we just toured. Ter- Paris was like our home base, and uh, we just toured. Who was this? Um, you and who else? Aaron, Aaron Cohen. Oh, okay, okay. Um, Aaron and I, you know, we went to Germany and London and fucking Italy and fucking Berlin and I mean, that's sick, man. 
Lots of cool places. That's man. Aaron Cohen. That's my man, Aaron. Does he run his own shit? His own page? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He fucking added me. I'm gonna follow him back. Yeah, he's, he's a homie, man. <laughs> Well, he added me. I just didn't know what's what, you know. He barely followed me the other day <laughs> on Twitter. On Twitter, no, I'm, I'm slow on my Twitter game. Okay. <laughs> nah, yeah, I was so like this motherfucker. I mean, Aaron, no wonder, he, me, no wonder he hasn't responded to me tagging him and shit. Yeah, I'm just I like this phone's not even having me on his radar. Yep. I didn't Aaron, even know. Bro. Aaron's, Aaron's pretty good about social media and shit. So that's dope. I followed you because well, he sees me tag you. And yeah, shit. yeah, yeah, definitely, um, dog. And he, I told him about like merch and shit too. So. You know, I'm always trying to plug my friends, especially, For sure, when, they're, especially when they're Hispanic. Does he so. do a lot of overseas shit? Yeah, he's big in France, man. So, funny story about Aaron. Aaron, besides him just being dope, Aaron uh, is... Ben, he, he got a... The universe kind of threw him a bone. So, their MTV station basically... In, in Paris, in France, hmm. they have videos running all the time. Well, there was a glitch one, like, couple days where they just played the same videos <laughs> over and over, all of France. It was his song? And one of them was his song. That's sick, dude. So for, like, two days, he had this fucking song, his video playing on national TV. <laughs> Non-stop, like, huh? Yeah, yeah over dude. and over. Wow, bro. you that is definitely a so bone thrown, total bone thrown yeah. right there. <laughs> so he got that shit. So like, Aaron gets like recognized and shit. Like Aaron's like, when we go to Paris and we're in France and shit, like it's like ah, oh, Aaron Cohen. Like it's it's a real deal, man. It's cool. So I had, a, I had a lot of good times. Aaron's Aaron's a, does well. You know, he sells out like two hundred there. So I had a lot of good times there, man. But Aaron, yeah. So I, I spent a lot of time in Paris. That's dope. So, how how hard is it for you to get one of your artists on a festival over there? Um, so here's some of the difficulties you run into with a lot of that shit, man. Is that uh, the French? Not even the French. Uh, a lot of people don't work how we work. Um, we work a lot. As Americans, like we really, really work a lot. Like we spend our whole fucking day working. Right. Like, like France, they don't care. Like they take time off. Second they, lunch and shit. Yeah, like they, it's like everything is cool with them. Like they right. don't, and there's nothing wrong with it. But you can't like get them to like light a fire under their ass. Like I could send an email out to book, and then it's like I don't hear back from them for like a month. <laughs> I'll get to it when I can, friend. Like, literally, yeah. and then it's, it's like funny you say that. Um, my cousin went to France. He went to Paris. He went to the Club 75. It's that uh-huh. Ed Banger shit. Yeah. He says, dude, I went. It was like 6 o'clock. They closed at 5. Yeah. And this was like a fucking Wednesday. He goes, what the fuck's going on? Yeah. He goes, they were only open for like five hours a day. Yeah. What kind of shit is that? They, they don't care, man. They make money. And then they go fucking play. <laughs> like, they live. They, I they, can attest to what he's saying. They, like, they, have a, a, they, have a, they have a whole month of holiday. That's what? it. I could and, become but French. But here's the crazy shit. It's the whole country. Okay. So it's not like you could take your month off whenever. The whole country takes August or September off. What the? Fuck? So how does business keep like? Does it? Like you better go like to the you, you better go to the supermarket July thirty first or you're no fucked. like there's still like some shit. That oh okay, goes okay, on, okay. But like, <laughs> it's, I'm it, total it, fucking well, shutdown. But, but almost for the like literally pretty much for the most part the whole country shut down. Damn, shuts down. damn, that's like deep, a month. Damn. And everybody goes on holiday. <sighs> so like, your hairdresser, you, you're not gonna. You're not getting your haircut, type shit. Like That's... everybody's on holiday, but because everybody leaves, it's not that big of a deal. You know what I mean? So you're going hungry. You just go to the going... next country over. And yeah, exactly. Get your haircut. So you, get, you literally go but, on holiday. You're like, but, yeah. I mean, and everything is right there too. Like Switzerland, we went to Switzerland. Like we went, I went all over the place, man. It was That's dope, dope man. Hell yeah, man. All right. Stamps on the passport, dude. I love so that you, shit. So you, so you didn't really say like, so is it is it hard to get someone popping over there? It's the same. Yeah. I mean. It's about how how hard you want to commit to it. Yeah, it's just the cost. It's just a big hip hop uh, scene there over there in France, right? The real hip hop, like like they like love, backpacker they shit, love like boom bap shit. So that's why like you see all these guys retire. They just all play Europe because like you're out in the U.S., you know, and you're someone like fucking um, Marco Polo. You know what I mean? You're making five hundred. 700 a show or some right. shit. You know what I mean? In Europe, you're making 15. You know what I mean? And you're booked every night, and it's like people want to go see you. Yeah. 
you know. But um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's I mean, it's still tough. I mean, and no one, you know, it's it, it's the same thing. They they care about numbers and all that, but it's like no one hops on shit. So it's just like we'll get to it when we get to it. You're cool. We like you. Come out and enjoy Paris for a little while. Yeah. You're just like, yo, I'm trying to get it there, have this meeting and dip. Like, and it's like, nah, it doesn't work like that. But we, we did some cool shit, though, man. Like, we went to the Red Bull Studios where, like, French Kiwi Juice, like, did some cool shit there. Rolling Stones, like, a bunch of cool people. We went in the studio and, like, had these producer sessions that were really cool, all <clears throat> sponsored by Red Bull France. Like, Rolling Stones France. Like, a bunch of cool shit. Yeah. That's badass, dude. That's tight. Plus, I gotta get over shit. there, man. How'd you get linked up into some stuff like that? Um... We just booked it all, but because Aaron's so, so well known, he was the plug. Yeah, like they were asking him to play. Like, bro, we we're playing these warehouse parties and shit that That's were like dope. a thousand people in like these abandoned warehouses, crazy, with, the like fuck? these big ass fucking art installations. Like, I mean, probably like twenty feet by like ten, fifteen feet, like art pieces, graph yeah. and shit, markers, streakers, like. But they built this stage out of fucking. Um, uh, What's the what's the the shits that um, we ship things on? Like you come the cargo pack, things? No, the crates, the pallets. 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 So they built a stage all out of pallets. So it was like some completely some underground shit. Like right. the, like it was like generators and shit everywhere. But like they, the whole stage was made out of pallets. Crazy. And it was like huge. It was like a festival stage. Yeah. But it was crazy, man. And that shit was lit. I got video footage of that of like stage. Fucking diving. And what like year was this when you were doing all that? Uh, 16. You were 16? No, 2016. Oh, 2016. <laughs> huh? No. I don't know. This is like last year. No, no, no. That's yeah. sick, dude. So, I remember cool. seeing you post a lot of shit like that, too. Yeah, man. Are you gearing up for another tour? I've been trying, man. I, you know, with me, man, I always try and do things on my own. So it's like, it's cool to go out and do it once, but while I'm there, I'm trying to build connections and everything for myself so I don't have to depend on anybody else. Right. My whole life is to not depend on anybody else. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. My whole life is like, Amen. how can I fund this myself? How can I do this myself? Like, yo, YouTube has made it. I can do anything. Right. Like, you know what I mean? Fucking like, there's nothing right. I can do. I taught myself how to screen print. I taught myself how to fucking do all kinds of shit. Yeah. Shout like, out to the YouTube nerds, bro. You know what I mean? Like, bro, Amen like, YouTube, to them. YouTube you is like the real shit. You don't even have to go to school no more. Nah, man. I went to school. That shit sucked. Mm. I had a good time. But, but you got a paper, though. I do. The paper that'll get you in the doors, you know what I'm saying? That's, That's the benefit. That shit, man. Yeah, but you know what? Real talk, if everything else in my life failed, it would be going back to school, getting a degree, nah, and working for the man. Nah, you're too smart. For I don't want to work for nobody. You wouldn't do that. Bro, I'm 33 years old. I haven't worked for anybody in over 18 You'd years. You figure it out, bro. No one wants to work for anybody. You know? you, like, there's no point. I, I mean, I don't think... You You don't, You don't. work for yourself, right? Yeah! Fucking a right. Yeah. So like, there's no way any of us in here would like. You wouldn't. You wouldn't talking, get down on. But I had to go to school. Life. I did have to go to school for it though. Yeah. I did go sure. to school for that just to learn everything but that I learned. Trade, like, basically. Boom. And then in yeah. A, now in a way, I'm, now I'm up to you know date I mean? on it with the YouTube shit, dude. So you know what I'm saying like. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, mean if, if I had to, if worse came to worse, I'd do what I need to do. Right. To provide the, for the people that I want to provide for. Yeah. But at the end of the day. I, I'm a hustler, man. Like, yeah, I'm not I'm trying right. to listen to white people. I'm a like, hustler, homie. You know what I mean? New customer like, crony. I'm trying to like work for myself and like. <laughs> yeah, fucking a right, dude. That's what do, I'm telling like, you. Like I can handle being broke. Like that's the reason. Like you set up as an entrepreneur, so you can maybe not have a couple months where shit's hitting. Right. You know what I mean? Yep. And, but you figure it yep. out. You got yeah. little, you got little pockets you can dip into. Yeah. Of little hustles you have here mm-hmm. and there. Like, you so, have to have multiple hustles. A B C D. Like EFG a, social media management like company that manages a few accounts here in town like everything that I've learned has basically been because of hip hop though yeah like, I learned how to do it because I worked with pay dues and run the bells mm. these major festivals that like I learned a lot from working with MERS and all that shit that I did fuck yeah really helped me just be like yo fuck all that man. so so that 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 place solar culture did you buy that no no no, no. you buy you're just running it or uh-huh. what you're yeah, running it just running it yeah. Okay, that's dope. No, though, yeah, man. if I could buy it, I would. Yeah. Um, but um, they kind of took it out from the guy that someone else bought it out from him without oh. him knowing. Oh, shit. So it's kind of a mess right now. But but they still got you running shit, though, so that's cool. Yeah, they trust yeah, you yeah. with it and shit, right? Because they know yeah. you're bringing in fucking, you're, you're doing shows years. and all that shit right there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's dope, dude. Because so see, that's good. a beautiful that's, way that's for you. That's where you have the Reverie concert, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
everything is there, man. I'm trying, trying to keep it. Keep so, it all what, what's the process in bringing in new talent? Um, it's whatever I like, man. <laughs> so, if you vibe with something, they obviously has they obviously have to bring something to the table. Um, because they, you know, yeah. they have to be good at least. They gotta be a little. They gotta be a little weird. And willing to work, right? Willing to work, um, and that's the biggest key for me, is just your willingness to work. You don't. So someone be- shouldn't approach you looking to make money, because in the long run they'll get there, but they shouldn't Immediate approach you. Money? Yeah. Um, it depends. It really depends. Well, one hand washes the other. I'll tell you like this. I don't think that's necessary. I I don't. I would never say that. I would say someone shouldn't approach me with the intent of blowing up. Because okay. there's a difference. Right, right, right. Blowing up doesn't mean you're going to make money. And we see that. I mean, look at Takashi 69 The dude had $1.7 million in his bank account. Mm-hmm. Right. And while that is a lot of money, that's, I mean. Still not. At, I mean, kid at, was spending at, reckless, though. But look at what he's making. Right. You're telling me you're making a hundred k a show? And you're, you only got doing, that? You got $1.7 million? God like, damn. So that's a 360 deal then? No. Like, I, I, shit. Some, who knows? Who knows what they had him in? But I'm saying you would you think know, there was more, man. You know what I'm saying? The way he I'll, was I'll fucking doing like his this, shit. Bro. Here's some crazy shit that people don't think about. As an artist, you don't make that much money. And so I it's know, a bunch of bunch of questions that I had about that. And I know this shit sounds crazy, but listen to this. Just listen. So do to you it. do you print CDs still? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's our biggest seller when we're on tour, man. That keeps us afloat. Really? Yep. Okay. Yep. We don't worry about. We're trying to push all of our market to all digital. Yeah. Um, let, let me ask you a question, then we'll get to that. So your question was, <coughs> do I tell artists that they're not to make money? No, we we they, we should all make money. Right. Um, you know, one of the ways that it, it's hard for someone to make money is depending on what they want to spend. Um, if you want to spend more on your videos and all that, you got to recoup that. You got to make that back. Yeah. Like it's not that money doesn't come out of nowhere. It takes and I, and I try money. and tell artists this shit all the time, like. Major, independent, doesn't matter. It's, that money is going to come back. And it's not coming back out of my fucking pocket. Right. It's coming back out of recruitment. So you're not going to make money until that $1,000 video that you, you wanted to do is paid for. And that's going to get paid for by your CD sales. We're not doing a split until it does that. Yeah, my, my split is always in the artist's favor. Right, right, right. But you got to be realistic with the amount of money you're spending and if this is a business think of, like I'm uh, hip hop is my passion but it's also what fucking takes care of me right mm-hmm. so i have to do that in a way that's smart and that has a proper business plan that's not set up for failure so i can't spend a thousand dollars and see no return on it right even if i make back 800 i'm cool with that so that was 200 you know? of a process you learned and all right that. and that's and that's 200 of of Almost non-quantified fans. So even though if I get someone that is there to listen to Tommy Will and they pick up a Marley B CD, like that's that's me gaining. You know what I mean? I, that's that's me gaining a new fan that over the next two years is going to spend maybe sixty to one hundred and fifty dollars. You know what I mean? There's a difference between a listener and a fan. A fan right. a fan will go out and buy your CD, buy the digital copy, buy your hard copy, buy a hoodie, go to your show. Well. I've been smart enough to where I control all of those avenues. You come to a show, I'm collecting that. You buy a hoodie, I'm collecting that. You come, like, I'm a real fucking label. Right. <laughs> you mm. know what I mean? That does, like, every aspect. Mm-hmm. So, but I wouldn't say that. So you think the demise of the whole big record label industry allowed an avenue for companies like yours? Yeah. I mean, what's popping right now is boutique labels, man. Well, that's what I'm saying because, like, there are no more budgets well, for I mean, million-dollar videos internet, like P. Diddy. You know what I'm saying? The internet killed the, the the record label well MP3 really iTunes yeah I mean yeah well, I mean Napster. no no it's none of those things it's 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 <clears throat> free shit yeah it's all the free platforms that got popping took money right out of their pocket so th- that's another thing is like um how much do streaming pay you as an artist <laughs> nothing man. nothing like, Right, because you don't. Stream. You got to get like millions of streams to really see, like even just like a couple hundred bucks and shit, right? Not a million, something no. like that. No, no. I mean, we do decent checks every month. I seen Jerron post something where he had found some data online that said how much it was like per stream. Like, I don't know if it was a million equal like four or five hundred dollars or some we shit. We get like streams that. every. I mean, fuck, Tommy hit a hundred thousand streams on his project. Like, nice. Um, 
we see checks every month, or you know, we could depending on when we withdraw it and shit like that. Right. Um. You know, we got real fans. Marley has real fans. Marley's been doing this for a while. Cash Marley's has been on tour for a minute, man. Fan base, and Tommy's getting there. You right. know what I mean? But Marley has fans all over the country. Do you push more mixtapes or do you push more singles on your artists? I don't even. We don't even release mixtapes. Okay. That's just dead. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, for the most part, unless you're a fucking super popping artist, right? That's 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 one of the issues you're facing. Is there's so much oversaturation because no one draws mixtapes. Right. The modern day mixtape is that surprise CD. It's that surprise album that thirteen tracks. It's that five track. Yeah, like that little EP. But you're still getting streaming. You're still fucking. You're still getting. You know, a thousandth of a cent or whatever for every fucking stream or whatever the case may be. So you blow up a video like ten million views in one month. Sure. What's that pay out? Um, I think you get for a, a million organic views is eight thousand dollars. Damn. On YouTube? Yeah. Oh shit, really? Yeah, yeah. God damn. That little kid is banking, honey. Did you see he won fucking like most most million paid YouTuber fucking year. My daughter watches that goddamn thing. <laughs> Who in it's the crazy. world and I tell this to every guest, <laughs> would you ever watch video of another kid playing with a toy you didn't have growing up? No. Never, right? That's just a different generation, bro. <laughs> I would never. I'm looking at my kid my, just like mesmerized like, dad, you got the special edition. Yeah, but he's so doing so. He's doing like reviews though, right? Of like new toys, right? Man, fuck that bullshit. Shit. But, that's, but that's just like anything else, man. That you just commit to it. Think about when that. When you dude. decide that yeah. this is your job, you just No, commit. no, no, no. I'm not knocking his hustle. No, no, no. I know you're not. I'm you knocking are. the I'm content. You're so but knocking that's, his but hustle. No, he's making 22 million. <laughs> That's more than all of us combined in this room. Oh, yeah. And probably everyone. <laughs> you know, and, and everybody we know. And I yeah. Know a few millionaires. Yeah. And that's crazy, that man. Definitely. But 8000 for a million, that's not bad, man. That's no. not bad. Yeah. I need to get my YouTube though. game back up, man. Or back up. I'm talking you about do going. Sound, SoundCloud? <laughs> no. Nah. It's just pointless at this point? That's not our demographic. Okay. Um, but that's what you guys were hosting the podcast, though, right? Yeah. On SoundCloud? It is, which drew, drew a little bit of traffic there, but... Which tell us a little. What's the, what's the, what was the name of it? There you're with us. There with the, it's, it's okay. okay there with, with us. us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For those of you that don't, for 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 our listeners that don't know, Mr. Rip D had a, has has had has a, a podcast. Had, well, I'm just saying you have not <laughs> dropped something in a minute. No, but you, I'm saying. You but can I like. Say had. But I'm I like what with, you I'm said. You said you got five, right? You said you said you got five yeah, right now. I, I want you to five. release them shits, man. Your shit was funny. Your shit is funny. I'm all past it. It's like a motherfucker, right? No, it is. You're right. Nah, nah, nah. So yeah, the music industry is fucked up, man. It's crazy. So, like, I was telling you earlier, like, bro, you're an artist. You're going to pay 10000 per show. You got to think about it like this, right? Right off the top, that 10 racks, it's hard to make 10 racks a show, in all honesty, man. Straight. You're probably making, like, 1000 a so, show, maybe, a decent popping artist. Let's say 1000 right? That's 30% off of your taxes, because I'm sure you're doing more than fucking, you know, 80 shows a year, probably around there, give or take, whatever, um, to get into that tax bracket. Um, it's also different as well when you work for yourself, so you get taxed harder, mm-hmm. um, which, unfortunately, um, Donald Trump has helped. Oh, yeah? In, uh, some tax areas for people that are... Uh, <laughs> I am not a Trump supporter in any way, shape, or form. Me neither. Fuck everything about that dude. But on some real shit, I saw some tax benefits last year. That's what's up. Just saying. Mm. Uh, and um, so, yeah, that's, I mean, you got to think you're paying out your DJ, you're paying out your booking agent, you're paying out your manager, um, you're paying out your fuel, you're paying out um, your fucking rental or whatever you're doing. Like, all these shits add up. So if you're making, like, at the end of the day, two, three hundred a show, shit looks a little bit different. Right. You know what I mean? So even if you're making 10 racks a year, I mean, 10 racks a show, that puts you down to one, two thousand, two to three thousand a show, mm. you know? And say you do, you know, that, that 100K, right? Say you do 100K that year and just shows, right? Like, bro, you live in New York, you live in L.A., Come on, man. 100K isn't shit. Just, you're paying no. like 60000 for a fucking apartment? Yeah. No lie. No you lie gotta at live. all, man. Four yeah. racks a motherfucking month? Do that. Living downtown in LA type shit? Yeah. So, yo, bro, that's literally $52,000 a year. Like, off 100K and you're living off of 48. I mean, just off of show shit. So, people get a lot of this shit twisted, man, and think that, like, 
like managers are making money, record labels are still making money. They're still creating pop stars. Like, but it's hard. It's hard to make money at this shit, especially be in the right as a place rapper, at the right bro. time right now. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. So, you know, my idea with this is like to put money behind rappers that I believe in. Mm-hmm. Not even necessarily to blow up, but just to have good music um, while creating brand awareness for myself. Right. Um, so you know, over the next four years, I want to drop fifty albums. Like I want to nice. drop an album for every state. How many um, <clears throat> artists do you have on the label? Um, right now, there's four artists that have dropped. Well, five, five artists that have dropped. Um, six actually. Simplistic just dropped a single, but there's been five artists that have dropped albums. Um, and then we got, I got a. Three more different artists lined up from three different states lined up that are working on it. So, again, oh, nice. just trying to create brand awareness, man. And if I can get my shit, you know, people repping Golden Artist Group in Wyoming because I signed their homies in New Mexico because I signed their homies in Washington because I signed their homies. Like, that's just going to create awareness for us. Oh. You know what I mean? And I truly believe that, like, my guys are some of the best performers in the country. So... I think if we're in front of that that right demographic, but I'm I'm kind of just basically taking everybody's business model that they've had for rap for forever, like yo, <coughs> let's create a pipeline of like from the Bay to Tucson. I got the shit, and I'm like, okay, let's do that. But I want to take this shit a step further. Let's create that pipeline, and I want to put out your music, create brand awareness. And I want to capitalize on all these other little pockets where I think you guys can benefit. Because in reality, everybody's down to invest until it's down time to invest. Right, right. You know what I mean? Everybody's so you got to pull like, a checkbook out. Yeah, yeah. I got a couple thousand for you, but I literally have money set aside just to spend on rap. Mm-hmm. Like, that's it. And I'm not scared of it, like, <clears throat> at all. That shit, if there's anything, that's, if there's anything in this world that there's a lot of is money. Yeah. What, um, what haven't you done this year that you wanted to accomplish? Nothing. You've accomplished everything? Yeah. My goal this year was to have my own South by Southwest showcase and put all of my rappers on tour at the same time, and I've done it several times. Oh. They've been on tour a few times, um, as well as South by Southwest. And I'm working on an A3C showcase next year, um, as well as we just got Dilla Day, too. So I'm investing in Dilla Day. Um, that in Detroit? No, here in Phoenix. Oh, in Phoenix? Ma Dukes is flying down. She'll be down here for the shit. It's on the anniversary of Dylan's death as well. Mm. So it'll be lit. It'll That's be cool. sick, man. So years already panning out, man. I got some shit with Reverie coming up. But yeah, I've, I've, I've accomplished. I set out actually a goal that I had for the next five years. I did it all this year. That's what's up. That's how, yeah. Um, Beautiful. So it's good, man. Just trying to be a beautiful brown man making a difference in this world, man. Nice, it's like we nice. all are, man. Like, there's too many white people making money in this world. <laughs> I feel that. For the people, <laughs> like, for the culture. For real, man. I try do you have put... any? Uh, do you have any hobbies besides music? Like, is there anything you love to do besides uh, what you're doing, or is just it's just yeah, a full time job? No, I. I mean, I, I do this all the time. I really am with hip hop all the time. Um, but basketball, I play a lot of basketball. Um, just being fit, I try and run. That's good, man. Um. But you need to put some big boy weights on them. Yeah, you huh? gotta show, man. Um, this gotta get all yeah. burly and shit. I went one night with him, dude. Fuck, could I couldn't move my shit the next day. Yeah, you can't give me like that, man. Nah, uh, train with like, me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Take one off, fool. <laughs> like I don't. Um, I was gonna say beats production. I make production is a hobby of mine. That's nice. Um, I don't do it to like make money or anything like that. I just. Do you have like create. a little beat store set up or you just like throw I some do, out to people? I don't or, even give a fuck. Do you throw them just to your artists or nah, just whoever? Anybody. I sold a couple the other day. And it's usually like, yo, Rip, I really like that beat. How much for it? I'm like, what's your budget? And they're like, um, $8. I'm people like, hate that fucking question. Cool. What's your budget? Well, the thing Whoa. is, is I'm just doing it. So like my thing is like accountability, bro. Yeah. I do the same thing in life. Like I treat life the same as far as accountability in all avenues. So my idea with Golden Party, so I do this monthly party called the Golden Party, um, and it's, you know, I try and combine, like, artists that are doing this as a living combined with younger artists that want to do it. I mean, right. fuck, if I could go on, but, but anyways, um, so yeah, so I do these things called Golden Parties, and my whole thing with that is accountability. Like, you got to promote yourself, you got to sell your own tickets, I'm going to promote you, I'm going to buy ads, I'm going to do all that, 
But I want you to know what like a tech writer is. I want you to know how to advance a show to tell me what your DJ needs. I want you to hold yourself accountable for all of these things that you need. Right. Like, because I feel like you're only as, as strong as your weakest link in yeah. your community. So if our weakest rapper is doing a thousand streams a month, I'm cool with that. But that's not the case. Right. We have our weakest rapper on Spotify is even on Spotify. Right. So I'm trying to create like an army of like super talented rappers. And I've yeah. been around the country doing this shit. Our scene is amazing and we do a great job. Um, How is Tucson's scene? Oh, is it alive amazing. and thriving? Yeah, man. It's amazing. Compared to everywhere in the United States, I mean, LA is tough. Like Tucson really brings it, man. We got like seven different showcases that are going on every week. And the crazy thing is, is like, this might be just me patting myself on the back, but a lot of these guys are all fucking byproducts of people that have been on Golden Parties and seen my platform. I'm not the type of dude that's going to be like, oh, this dude is doing the same shit that I was doing. No, please. Take my idea. Take my platform. You go to the east side. You go to the south side. You go to the north side. You go to central. And y'all motherfuckers do it. Right. Let's spend. Let's fucking do this shit, man. And, and let's have a real fucking scene that is thriving all off of hip-hop. Because hip-hop is pop music now. If we can, like, get that shit pop. But I'm not, like, one to be like, yo, like, you know, like, I had that idea first. I did. And who gives a fuck? Take it. Like, run with right. it. I'll give you money to help you with your show. It's not about who did it first. It's about who did it better. Yeah, for sure. I feel like And it's about just bringing up everybody, man. Me seeing brown kids become entrepreneurs. Mm. Get the fuck out of my face, man. That's the point of this shit. Like, for me. You Let's- know what I mean? Let's uh let's give a shout out to uh, everybody that's on the label. Can you give us some of their um like social medias? Say everybody yeah, so that's on the label. Cash Lansky. Uh just shout out just to like Cash that. at, C- at C- Cash Lansky. Yeah. Um uh, Marley B. I think it's Marley B underscore five twenty. Mm-hmm. And then Have Will, Tommy Will, um, is on there. I think it's H X V E W X L L. Yeah, yeah, I've seen it. It's got the X in there instead of the the A. And then uh so those are the three guys like that are the main guys. They're like on the label mm-hmm. as far as like um, I manage them. I put them on tours. I do stuff with them. Marley's um, on tour right now, right? They just finished. They, uh, just, they just finished? finished up there. How many how many cities did he do? Um, this particular run was with Jaron Benton, and we did 18 dates. Yeah. It was deep. He's been gone for a minute, man. But then right before that, he did his own headline tour that was 12 dates. Oh, and then a month before that, he did 12 dates with Recognize. And then two months before that, he did 32 dates with Dizzy Wright. Shout out to Marley B, man. He's out yeah. there grinding. Yeah. Shout no, we out worked, Marley we B. We worked very hard man. to land, land a couple of those things, man. So, so but, hell yeah. But yeah, man. So I've, I've always, our scene is great, man. I've, I've, you know, I think it's, uh, I'm very, very much about building up people that look like me with the same type of skin as me um, or darker. <laughs> and uh, no, turning, them, turning them into entrepreneurs, man, because we all know this world could beat you down a little bit if you're not white. <laughs> Definitely. So I, I've had this question, like for for you know, I've had Show Enough and Vinnie Mendez in here, and I've always I've always loved asking this question. But how do you feel about the whole situation of you can't make it out of like a city like Tucson? Like you have to be in L.A. or New York or part of those kinds of scenes. Do you do you believe that or do you disagree or um, how do you feel about that? To an extent. Um. The internet's changed a lot of that, of course. But virality, things that go viral aren't by accident. Mm. Like, there's people that have been taking... I mean, Takashi 6 9 is like the greatest example of all this, right? Because Takashi 6 9 had been trying for years to like try and like uh, make it with memes and make it with little videos and make it with all that shit. Mm-hmm. And finally he had one hit, but he had been trying for a long fucking time. Mm-hmm. But the way a lot of this shit goes viral is by who you know, bro, and those pe- certain people that watch it and influencers. And it's it's very tough to make it out of a market like this. Right. Like it's – nothing is impossible. But uh, I guess if I had to give it a definite answer, I would say, yeah, it's, 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 it's pretty pretty tough. Hmm. To make it out of Tucson. Yeah. Without knowing someone in LA, spending time in LA, spending hmm. time in New York, spending time. So you're not going to remain in Tucson once you pop? Yeah, I, I will. But my whole thing is like, I'm not taking, I'm not an artist. 
You know what I mean? I'm not a rapper. So technically, you've, you asked, do... you've asked rappers these questions, mm. and for them, it might feel different. For me, I'm going out. I'm flying out to Seattle, New right, York, yeah. LA, like Austin, Dallas. Your Chicago. position, you can take it to like, where you need I to be. I can take and build mm-hmm. relationships with these right. people. I don't. I'm not a rapper. Yeah. I, don't, I don't write raps. I build relationships. Mm-hmm. I build businesses. Nice. I'm. I'm making these things. Um, I'm making relationships that I can utilize. Yeah. You know what I mean? So as a rapper, I think it's very different because the, even those two guys that you named, they wear every hat. They don't got a label. They don't have a team. They don't have all of that shit. Mm. They wear every hat. I yeah. got like five employees that work for me that can travel with me and do the shit that I need to do. Like as I've met with people that are further in this game, I realize like there's so many aspects that need to be had. And when I get people that give me this information, I go out and do it. Mm. Like I don't, I don't work for anybody else. I work for myself. So like at the end of the day, if the money, if I want the money, I gotta go get it. Yeah. If I want the success, I gotta go get it. Mm. Like Costco isn't paying me to fucking right. You know what I mean to like do these shits. Yeah. I so feel I feel like yeah, it's, like it's it's tough. It's very hard. It is because if you think about it in 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 like L A and New York and shit, there's just more opportunity. You know what I'm saying? The the chances oh, yeah. of popping. You know, and getting your music to the right person out there who has access to like you know studios and all that shit. It's like more again, streamlined. Yeah, but then again, you know? studios nowadays, you know, you can do just build a yeah, studio yeah, wherever I you want. You know, I don't, but, I don't know if like studio is as important as it used to be. Right. Um, I mean, it definitely helps once you get to a certain level. I think well, you people, can do collabs out there too. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, you yeah. can be in the right place at the right time. Next thing you know, you got YG on a fucking track yeah, or something yeah. like that. Well, that's you the know, thing. That that's the dope. thing. It's not necessary. It's that you have so much more opportunity because it's everyone. Funny you say YG. Everyone there is like connected. Right. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's like every time I go out there, I meet someone different. Whether it's someone from like Revolt TV or. You know what I mean? Someone from fucking. Um, Curtain of Distraction for Arizona State. Tight. Chill, chill, chill. See that? See that? Uh, YG what, dude? Game? What? What YG did they, did he score a triple double or something again? Or <laughs> y'all ready now? Celebrating you already. That ready. Celebrating Are they number twenty four in the I nation? I put that in the caption though. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't fronting. Like I put, yo, when your program that was goes, made that shit so funny, man. You know what I'm saying? I was cracking. You know what I'm talking about? Because those dudes out here celebrating triple doubles. Hey, <laughs> last week fucked around and got a triple yo. double. But yeah, man, I think I think you need some to spend some time, whether it's every weekend or something inside of a bigger market, man. Yeah. Like when I look at a lot of these dudes and the things that they've done, like everybody has the answers, but no one has the answers. You yeah. know what I mean? If everybody has the answers, then why aren't they on yet? Right. If I have the answers, why am I not on yet? Why no. are my guys not on yet? You're right. We're fucking getting there. Whenever like, you ever just uh like you make music. Yeah. So have you ever thought of going out? Side the hip hop genre, yeah. I really, I've made some house tracks, yeah. I really enjoy electronic music. I think that's like a still, even though that bubble kind of busted a little bit, it's sure. still popping, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, yeah, but I don't like like dubstep and all that. No, shit. no, 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 I'm not a dubstep dude either. I like house, I love house Latin music. trap. I, I hate, I hate, uh, I don't hate trap music, but I hate that they call it trap music, right? Like that. Dance. Like that's more like dubstep. Like right, right, right. Like, trap music, I know, doesn't sound like y'all's no, trap music. No, <laughs> no, I understand. Like a ball and JG do not sound like Skrillex. Oh, for sure, for sure. That's trap. Yeah, yes. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. OTI shit. That's trap. UGK. Yes. Right, exactly. You know? Like I don't, I don't, I can't bring myself to be in like, yo, you heard that new <clears throat> trap song by like, you know, fucking marshmallow. marshmallow. <laughs> I'm like chill. Yeah. No, I haven't. So saying that, there's a lot of like trash out there. Like the more harder stuff, the stuff that you don't see on like pop charts and all that shit. That's like the underground shit that you you wouldn't have ties to Europe for that. <coughs> what do you mean? What like do you, mean? you don't have like avenues for artists. Like say a dance artist came through for you. Okay. Would you have the avenues to promote him? No. Nah. No. I mean, I got homies. Right. You know, um, I got homies at Specto. Um, that do a really good job, and and but I think, I think one of the keys to success is finding your lane and committing to it. Production wise, any whatever, anything, anything, anything in life. I mean, I feel find like, that niche. Yeah, like whatever it is, and I decided like hip hop is my thing, right? Because I I started to be like, yo, maybe I can get bands, maybe I could do this, this, and this, and I'm like, yo, I love hip hop. Yeah, it's like the only shit that I've never gotten tired of. So I'm like, what am I trying to do here? 
like I'm trying to be all these things, but really I'm missing out on what I'm best at. Mm. So for me, I was like, man, I'm just going to commit to rap. Like, I like all this other shit. I listen to a lot of other shit, like Boys Noise and a lot of like right. French fucking house and a lot of shit that I really enjoy. Um, a lot of classic rock, um, a lot of R&B and shit. Mm. But my job is to work in rap music and weddings. Nice. <laughs> they, pay, they pay, dog. My rate's gone up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm like, if I can go make two, three hundred in the club, they're gonna pay at least double, maybe even triple that. You know, definitely triple. You know? Oh yeah, dude. The the, the dudes that I hire for the event center sometimes they're up there, bro. I don't want to get TVs. I really don't. <laughs> I don't, bro. I don't want a video mix. I I thought about it, but it's just like to catalog that much fucking. You're gonna miss out on a lot of quinceanera money. I hear that. <laughs> I hear that. But then you have to have a badass light show. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's true. My boys got that because I don't need fucking video because I mix, you know. Right, Rip yeah, knows I what's can. up. I, I cover for him at Congress. Have you ever done the video mixing type shit? I started to, and then the same thing. Like, nah. that shit's like so involved in shit, man. And you got to get the videos, and you got to make yeah, sure it's like yeah. good, good quality sounding yeah, shit. I'm, I'm, I'm good on that. I've seen a couple of Bice Eye DJs that bust out some bullshit that they get <laughs> off of fucking YouTube, dude. I'm just like, oh man, they got it off the next, box. And next shit. song comes on, it's like three times louder than the song that was just on and shit, dude. Man. <laughs> Yeah, the DJ can like you know who uses video DJ Sue okay but they have every fucking video they have to subscribe to a service yeah man there's you know a right way to do all that shit I just I don't have time to do that it's a lot though they found know? that lane though they found their yeah. lane bro wherever there. Sue goes there's a party like he DJs at Cobra on Wednesday tonight he'll tonight. be there tonight what time is it shit I might fucking dip over there after this is done <laughs> shit but no he fucking spins everywhere and everywhere he goes it's like Zenrock Zenrock has been popping for years but his Saturday nights, though? His Saturday nights, yeah. They're nice. not even open on Fridays anymore. Nah. I don't know how That's they're crazy. open, period. That's crazy. I don't know. <laughs> I guess there's new uh, ownership. Uh, the dude from uh, Neighborhood bought it. Yeah. Nice. I, don't know. I heard that from Marcos, one of the Power Mix dudes. Oh, okay. Yeah, so... I don't know if I'm supposed to say that, but you know, <laughs> dude, be doing shit. Wasn't exactly confidential information. Let me know. We were at the gym. Let know? me know I if I gotta passing, trim you know? this shit out. Let me know. Okay. No, no, no. Just keep it rolling. <laughs> hey, so I have a question for you. Uh, what, out of all the touring and everything that you've ever done, is there like one like of your favorite performances that you've ever done that you have that you, that you can remember? Just... Um, that that Paris show, um, the one in the warehouse. Yeah, that man. sounds like some dope shit. That sounds like some shit you'd see like on Euro Trip, like a movie like oh, yeah. that and shit. No, like like that we just sure. so happened to get tickets to this fucking most exclusive ass and farmhouse it, type it was, of fucking did party. Did I talk about that on the podcast or was it? What's that? The palette shit. The palace shit? The palette? The palace. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah we yeah, opened yeah. with not, that. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. It wasn't on before. We didn't talk about that before. No, no, okay. no. Yeah. Sorry, my memory's terrible. Oh, I don't right know. Yeah, it might have been on before we turned it off and turned it back on, right? Or no. No, no, no. We talked no, about we it. Talked I have no idea. Here. No, it was I'm, on. I'm here. sorry. We so that smoking. was your performance? We were smoking. That was one of them. Um, some shit I did with Murs with like 12,000 people. Dope. That shit was crazy. Was um, that paid dues and shit or what? Nah, that was a festival in Phoenix. Paid dues was like... They, yeah, paid dues was... That's up there, actually. Yeah. Rock the Bells. It was Rock the Bells. Nah, oh, nice. That shit... Yeah. That shit was crazy. Who are you with? with? Like Kendrick and Schoolboy Q, like all that. All of them were like back there. Um, Merce. Merce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dumb. But like Danny Brown, like RZA, Method Man, were all. Like Did you see out. that Tiny Desk uh, performance from Wu Tang? No. It came out today. Oh, did it? Yeah, that was one of my notes I wanted to t- ask you about. And the, I their twenty their twenty fifth anniversary of uh, yeah. You know what, bro? I'm happy they put uh, ODB son in the group. Oh yeah, that's pretty dope. Yeah, you know, I had it's no idea. Centric like I his really, dad. I really enjoyed the Wu Tang Clan. Man. Yeah, it was pretty dope. Cool. Check it out. I will for sure. I like that tiny that shit. That Mac Miller shit had me crying. It hurt man. me. It hurt my heart. Yeah. Yeah, man. You could tell he was at the end of his rope, bro. Like Session with all due respect, bro. Like, good, bro. like he the the sorrow was in the songs. You know what I'm saying? I'll tell you, man. I've never. I don't really get into a, like in a, into my bag about like fan like stars dying and shit. But Mac Miller, like I I I yeah, I, I definitely cried about that shit. Like just listening to his music, just getting emotional and shit. Yeah. Like if you if you I don't if you go back and listen to that fucking intro song. Um, my regrets just look just like text, um, 
Because in my head, I feel I'm swimming through stressful waters or some shit. But he talks basically about like mental health shit. And talks about swimming through like special water, like stressful waters, and like because the whole shit is about swimming is all about like swimming through emotions. Uh. So that whole album is wild. Uh. So they, like the autopsy came back and he was like, "What fentanyl?" Yeah, yep, yep. It's just fucked up. People are fucking up people like that, you know. Cutting it, man. They're just they're trying to cut it. Trying. To no, I get it your it. hustle and all that shit, but you're dealing your your customer a death sentence knowingly you know what i'm saying it's not by chance like it's gonna happen yeah i mean shit if you're really on your entrepreneur shit at the same time sound kind of morbid but you're fucking up returning customers mm. <laughs> real talk that's just business 101 right there For real man you're cutting off a supply but it's yeah. just the availability cuz like the pharmaceutical companies got everybody strung out and then they fucking oh, yeah. regulated it oh yeah so you created a problem and then took it away yeah. So it's like you created a whole drug dealing one on one, man. Yeah. But no, but then it's just Give it's so crack. scarce now. Give them a little crack and then yeah. let them get that shit for free and then you got a customer for life, man. Yep. Mm. Crazy, man. That's the worst. It's fucking heartless, man. You uh you a big uh shoe guy? I'm okay. The you gonna cop those new uh see uh, those know. new fucking concords coming out? Nah man. They're re releasing them. I'm not a big like Jordan Jordan's guy. They have the 45 um, in the back, which I think is pretty dope. Uh, yeah, no, that's cool. I, I'm not going to get them either. I don't, I don't like. Those are a grail shoe, by the way. I mean, that's like, if you're into Jordans, that's what you get. Yeah, no, I, you know I've always, saying? I mean, no disrespect, but I've always just thought like Jordans were too corny for me. You know what is fucking crazy is they exactly. fuck short, your feet up. Legs too. They're not fucking comfortable at all. No, no. bro. It's they all about, it's a, it's a flex shoe. If it's you just have, if time. you have any meat on your bones, that's not your shoe. <laughs> this yeah, is true. No, man, right? This is true. I Skinny dudes will be like, "Yeah, pff, shits are soft, bro." But me, I'm all boom, smashing them shits. My feet hurt. By the end of the day, nah, I had a homie tell me, uh, "I had some. I I had kept my basketball shoes on. I have Lebrons. I play in Lebrons, and I kept them on. And I had my pants on. I was like walking out, and I had a homie see me. He's like, "Yo, what are you doing?" I was like, oh, I'm just getting ready to change out of these. He's like, I thought one of two things. I thought, yo, either rip, um, what did he say? He's like, either rip is trying to run with a new crowd or he's trying to impress a girl because that motherfucker <laughs> does not dress like that. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yo, that would be very true oh though. Oh my man. God, that's great. That's the, like, I'm not, I'm not. That's fucking great, dude. You won't care. I wear like, you know, Vans. I've been right, with shit. Right, right, right. But <clears throat> I, uh. No, I got. I'm wearing Nike pocket knives right now, um, which are, are pretty. Those are clean, yeah. Pretty like cool those. shoe. Those um, are pretty dope. I was wearing NMDs when they first dropped. Yeah. I hate that they sell them in Zoomies and like everywhere all this now. Shit now yeah. Man. Shit broke my heart. When I purchased my first pair, it was like 189 before tax. Yeah, me too. Same thing. I and what the, the, the price has doubled and shit, or what? <laughs> That way, shit. I don't shit. even know what they're about. This they're about actually they're less now. They're like no, you can get up like one twenty five. Yeah. Oh really? So it went yeah. down. Yeah. Oh, so they Why? saturated Which the market. Cool. Yeah, yeah, but you know what? They, just, they just make a bunch of different colorways. The and the, the round ones, like and the Pharrells. Yeah. <sighs> Human nature's and shit. Me. Them shits expensive as fuck. See, like, and those are shoes. Five hundred cool bucks. With. Those are shoes Oof. I'm cool with. Yeah. Like I got. Oh, I got some. Uh, I just saw the snap that you did, fucker. You got the yeah. Virgils. I got the uh, ninety seven Air Max off white. That's what's up. Mm. Those are those are a decent price. Have you shoe. have you uh, take them off ice yet or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wore them a couple of times. I probably won't wear them again for a while. Yeah, but I wore them. I wore them on my birthday. I got them for my birthday and wore them. You know, I'm not a big Air Force guy, but I would rock a pair of off white. Oh, man, those Volts those are mean. Fucking blazers, bro. I know it. The God Halloween pair. Damn, bro. Yes, those are my shit because those look like Vans. <laughs> So like the flat sole high top that looks like the skate highs. Yeah. Mm. Like off white. I just I love like, you know. I don't like the um hazard print. Oh, okay. I, it's just not it's just it's not innovative to me. And you know I do graphic design, I do yeah, embroidery and yeah, all that yeah. other shit. It's just it's not I didn't when when he came out with one of his uh, earlier collections, he had Nebraska screen printed on a t shirt or a, yeah. a, a sweater and I just didn't I didn't see the appeal to it. Um, Changed the game, though. Obviously, I was wrong. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because the motherfuckers ahead at Louis Vuitton now for the menswear. 
Man, you can't, you can't, I mean, motherfuckers can say what they want because the dude has kind of lost his mind, but Kanye West is like. I just don't know where he's at, bro. Like. He's beyond a rep. Do he's, I even care about Yandi, though? Yeah, of course the, you do. I, oh, of course I do. But this is what I'm saying. <laughs> if I wasn't talking to you because I, I share your affinity of Kanye West, like he's, yeah. he's God, you know, for, for a lot sure. of reasons. But that last CD. Can you name more than two tracks off of it? Uh. Uh-huh. See? And you're a Kanye fan. Yeah, yeah. Like you might even like as well Yeez- call you you might like even Yeezus be a, is like my one of my top five albums. You might even be a Yeezy Stan, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, close. For sure. Close. I'm I might even be, you know, yeah. but it's just weird that and I think that's just the culture today, but that song that music he just made, it's not a cohesive piece of music. Just, there's some flips that he did that I like there's that that song with uh Shake. Yeah. Is fire. Um, there was like one song I liked on the Nas one that yeah, sounded all that like Nas fucking. One was the best one that came out. Well, Push Push was the best one that came out for sure. Yeah. I mean, that's, that shit. Yeah, was Push crazy. was crazy. That's one of my top albums of the year. It's crazy because he's selling out on tour. Yeah, but the, it, it wasn't. You see what they did in like, fucking Toronto? Yeah, that shit was wild. Some bro. bitch shit, huh? Yeah. He's like, Drake <laughs> paid like thirty dudes to throw beer at me. Yeah. Who said that? <laughs> Push. Did he really? Yeah. I saw yeah, that he yeah. got beer thrown. I didn't know yeah. it was I didn't know it was part of the beef. I mean, yeah. I'm assuming because why That's what else? He said. He got back on stage like a G though. Yeah. Probably in some fucking I wanted to catch him when he came to Phoenix in, in November, but I just didn't have the opportunity to go. Yeah. I know you say you don't go to a lot of shows. I just can't, man. I, I don't I can't think of maybe like yeah, I can't think of a show that I've just been so spoiled with that shit. But um I, I was gonna go to the Mac Miller show. I was about to like because I was pissed that I didn't go to the one before, with Divine Feminine tour. Mm. Did you go? No, no, no. I, I mean, you know, to be to honest, with, I wasn't a big Mac Miller okay. fan. I was aware of his music, Donald Trump, and shit he did with the Cool Kids. Wear my hat, you know. Um, oh yeah, but produced like Cookie yeah, English, bro. Like picture movies without. Words or whatever. Right, no, no, no. I mean, he. I barely get shit. into his shit now. Okay. Like, and it just sucks that it takes. And and yeah. I think they said that on the Triple X um, song. I didn't know Lil Peep. You know, have you heard that song, Lil Peep and Triple X? Uh-huh. Um, he says like, there's a little excerpt. He goes, "It sucks that you don't listen to someone's music until they're dead." You know, and that's who was talking about Lil Peep. And that's how I felt with Mac Miller because, like, dog, he's like. Might be blasphemous, but it might be like top five MCs. He is you know really what I'm saying? Fucking good because he produces his own music, produces, writes his own melodies, right, bro? All of that shit, bro. Damn. It's fucking phenomenal, man. Yeah, like, like he was a talented soul, man. And it's sad that <laughs> beyond, bro. He was really fucking good. Like the swimming is. See, I don't fuck with um like the MTV pop shit, like that manufactured shit. Like yeah, yeah. you know how Chanel West Coast try to have their own career course. and shit. Of course. Well, when they were promoting Mac Miller early on, he had a TV show on, yeah. um, with the his Moscow homies and shit. Crew or whatever. It was it was a good show, bro. But here's the thing about Mac Miller: like he's that whole blog era was was like he's one of the fucking founding people of that blog area. Think about it: like Big Sean, YG, Mac Miller. Like, 09, 2010, like, Wiz Khalifa, yeah. Cuddy. Like, that was the blog area. That, that was, like, that was that blog era. That was, yeah. like, when I just moved here. Like, when fucking, you know what I mean? When um, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy had just dropped. Like, mm. all of that shit. Drake was just coming up. Like, all of that shit, bro. You know what I mean? That whole blog area. That's probably my and favorite Mac CD Miller, from him. That was a good era. Mac Miller was, like, I mean, he was, but have you ever gone back and listened to kids or like the shit that a lot of that shit came off of? He's crazy. When I recovered my hard drive, remember when I told you it crashed? Yeah. I swear to God, I almost quit DJing. <laughs> I swear to God, bro. Um, one of the song, one of the um, albums in my hip hop folder that I had on the hard drive, kids is in there. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, you know, going back and listening and all that shit, it's just. It's, it's real rap. Yeah. Yeah, it's like it's no. He didn't mail it in. Like that's that's like he just happened to make a pop shit. Right. That's it, it's like it's I ain't like, even mad at that lane. Like how right. can I be mad at like, that? It's like the same with like Macklemore, bro. He's paid. You don't even have to make. Music but the thing anymore. about it is, is Macklemore same thing. He made an accidental pop song. Right. 
Because Macklemore did what I do. He was touring. He was sleeping on friends' floors. I mean, I got homies in Phoenix that were like, oh, yeah. He slept right there in that fucking Arizona room. Every time he came down, he played Blunt Club. We paid him 100 bucks. Like, Oh, yeah? He was, yeah. He, no, he's a real dude. Like he. So what is Blunt Club? I've heard of it. Just it was just a... Uh, it was just a weekly, hip hop weekly. Were they smoking Phoenix, blunts? Though, right? Nah. <laughs> oh no. Nah. It's just no. one of the names for it. It's just a oh, name. But man, it's in, it's in Phoenix, though, right? It's in Phoenix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it Peoria or somewhere up there? No, it was in downtown. Like Phoenix. downtown Phoenix? Okay. I was all turned up. I was like, damn shit. They don't do it no more. This fool. <laughs> Blood Club. I'm all, they don't do it no more. <laughs> it's like a monthly or bi weekly or whenever shit. they have good DJs and I shit. I would have been like, yo, let's pull up. I'll fucking roll like a couple <laughs> shit. Nah, you already nah. know what time it is. Damn, we shouldn't have said nothing. <laughs> yeah, for real. Nah, it, started, it started when they were young and shit, so I think it was like. Like on just like being big weed heads and shit. Right, you know right, I mean? right. Like where we all chill and smoke blunts type vibe. Mm-hmm. You know? Well, that's but, what I uh, thought. But yeah, I mean, think about it. Macklemore is the same shit, man. Like, and now he makes like these corny pop songs that are all positive, but like he was a real rapper that couldn't like really rap and mm. just happened to get into this pop lane and now he probably writes songs for, you know, all the other white rappers. I don't know. Right. You fuck with g Easy? <laughs> no. Not no. Really. He's cool. He's a he's a pop star. To me. Who's your favorite like artist to listen to right now? I saw Halsey, his ex, yeah. at the Victoria's Secret. She looked busted, bro. <laughs> mm. Fucked up, fade like a stop and shit. Like it was like a fucking, like a probably like a four on top, five on top with a fucking razor stop, dude. Like and no fade, nothing. I'm just like, who told you that look was good? Obviously, she ain't trying to look good for me, so don't matter. <laughs> Real talk about that Victoria's Secret show. You who know who Adriana Lima is? Of course. And I'm very body positive. Okay, like I don't sex shame nothing for nobody. <laughs> I'm open. You know what I'm saying? But Adriana Lima did a last walk because she was finally retired. Well, she had a couple kids. She's not yeah, yeah, modeling yeah. anymore. She looks so fat compared to the models, dog. Yeah, but those girls are all like. I'm just saying, tiny, like it, it, the the um, <laughs> contrast. Bro, I'm not sex shaming anybody, but <laughs> fuck, oh, she's got a bonds on. Person, no, no, a normal person yeah. she to like wear the supermodel. Chick. The contract contrast was crazy. Yeah, it is. It's insane. I know girls that are start like, living good. I know girls that were like in that shit that that's why they quit because the pressure can't is, eat. you can't eat. Like it's like real. Fuck they want that. you to have fucking D's. With like a fucking eighteen inch waist and shit, mm. like crazy. I mean, don't we all? Yeah, <laughs> stupid man, it's ridiculous. <laughs> it's like unrealistic with the expectation that girls are like, man, I'm done with this shit. Yeah, no. Do that shit for that long, you can't like fucking feed kids and shit. You um, man. you fuck up but, your body for sure. But to answer your question, I don't know what I listen, to, what rappers I'm listening to. Nothing, or it doesn't even have to be rappers. Like, what do you like to listen to, like right now? Oh fuck, just period. Like, is it older shit? shit? Every day I'll probably listen to Frank Ocean a little bit every day. Nice. Song or two? Yeah. Um, uh, the new Mac Miller hasn't gotten stop hasn't stopped getting heavy rotation. Right. Um, I know there's some new shit that I have been listening to. I listened to that J I D the other day. Nice. Um, you heard that uh good. Tory Lane's Trippy Red? No. That Ferris Wheel? That was my song last what week. What about the Meek Mill? Have you heard that one? Oh, yeah. It's good. The Meek Mill's that pretty J-verse good, right? That J-verse is ridiculous. Right? Oh, my God. Yeah. And everybody's like, oh, he's throwing shots at him and shit. People are like, fucking, they love to Yo, feed told, into the dumb shit, I was dude. telling Cash the other day, I'm like, bro, like, I think people are going to take this, all these bars and be like, this whole shit's about him. I think there was a couple bars that are about Ye. Right. But it's about positive shit where he says yeah, like he they're was... trying to separate us. Mm-hmm. Blah, 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 and then he talks like about they the did other to shit. Prince and Michael Jackson. Jay, I think he's Jay throwing little jabs and you could take it how you want it. Right. But, and sure enough, later on that day, he's like, yo, I just want to watch the, the throne too. That was about that was about the breaking us apart. Right. Exactly. Honestly, I just want to watch, watch the throne too and I'll be happy. Hey, man. Because they say that it's locked and loaded, you know? Oh, man. I, I, shit, but I, you know what? I don't want a five year old album though. <laughs> you know true. what I'm saying? That's true. Because the you never con- know though. Like I mean, Wayne CD, you could tell it was you dated. Tell. It's still good though. It's still really good. I liked uh, it. I liked. I liked it. Uh, well. Um, the Echo, the Echo, uh, Swiss Beats and Nas. Is that your your new jam or what? That's a good one, man. Yeah, we need to do the jams of the week while yeah, we're on yeah. music right yeah. now. That's, that's did you bring? Did you bring, did you bring something? You got something old or something new? Yeah, yeah. Okay, we can do you, that. What do you got? What do you got? I've been listening to uh, Nerd a little bit too. Mm. Old Nerd. I listen to a lot of Earth Gang. Oh, you know what that? What's tight? Um, oh, what was it? 
uh, that new Gucci song. Okay. He look canceled up, look, look up in the last sky. week yeah, at yeah. the TCC. I would have been pissed, bro. Well, I like Gucci. They have I had a right. DJ. They have the right to fucking cancel anything. If, if it don't sell. Yeah. It's probably in their claws and shit. Mm. Um, yeah, that Echo song. Is it, I listen to this dude, Fat Tony, is really cool. Carnage, too, was supposed to be there. Yeah, that's a whole I tour. fuck with Carnage, bro. Yeah, he's cool. For sure. Lakers just won. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. Oh, you want to hear it? You want to hear a joint? Yo, so what is the rules with playing the fucking songs on the podcast? Because I listen to uh, Joey Diaz. He's a comedian. He'll sort of start a, p- a podcast with a song, and he'll end a podcast with a song. Yeah, but he yeah. probably got permission from those, that exact artist, probably. See, that's how I've been doing it with, like, playing the shit that, you know, like... Right, right. Shona but I don't know, dude, because he shit. plays some shit like, like, uh, like Rolling Stones. Shit. Oh, okay. Yeah, they, Led Zeppelin. They're no, probably like some, homies. No, You dude. just have to... Why you, not? Joey I think, Diaz? I think you have to list it. Like, it has to be cited properly. That's so it? they get paid the royalty on oh, the stream. But, but then we don't make money off of streams. Right, but that doesn't mean that they shouldn't get paid. Yeah, maybe the artist will get one if they're established. Even, no matter where you're... Like, even if... Technically... With ASCAP and BMI, like we could get hit with the song list at any given time. What do you mean? To pay out live royalties. Oh, as if we played it? Oh, us? Yeah. At any club, if there's an ASCAP representative, which there is in town all the time, but you pay your ASCAP dues, a venue does. Yeah. So you pay your ASCAP fees. But in order to pay out those royalties, you're supposed to have like a song list. But I don't know what the rule is with that. They never approached you with that, right? No, but we have played at places that have gotten shut down by ASCAP. Shut, shut down? down by ASCAP. Like until, where? Um, Umi Star. I used to DJ at this place called Umi Star. Where's that at? Um, Campbell and Grant. Oh, I remember there before it closed down. Mm-hmm. They got Turned shut down the, because of that. They didn't get shut down because of that. They just they couldn't have DJs until they paid that. Oh, <laughs> there's just no music going on. Just playing yeah. serious satellite radio. Yeah, but even on <laughs> did that, it crack? It was okay. It was cool. I mean, I was little I'm, vibe. Younger, I knew a lot more people at that time. Right, right, right. So. I think that's the problem getting older is our network is starting to shrink. You know? <laughs> Damn, so if that's the situation with that, how do DJs like for like weddings and shit get away with it by playing, you know, the music? Well, it's the venue. Play? The venue's supposed to play, pay their royalties. Pay, <laughs> I'm all. Pay. <laughs> Whoops. To pay Crickets. <laughs> supposed to pay a fee to BMI or ASCAP. Damn. So, that's what happened at one of my I buddy's tell bars. The owners. Yeah. He was at Contiki, and I was doing the DJing there. And then they came in and was like, listen, this is how much you have to pay a month. Yep. And he was like, fuck you, motherfucker. Don't you ever come back over here on some gangster shit. And then he was like, you got the cease and desist letter. And yeah, it's real. It's not a joke. No. You know? my, homie, my homie was telling me that in, uh, in Italy, they'll check your fucking, they'll check to make sure um, there's a music industry representative there. And they check to make sure you have licensing for all songs that are played. Like, you can't do YouTube rips and shit. Really? Like, you got to purchase every song that's played, and they'll go through your library because there's a special tag, I guess, on every song. And if they find it, they just, you don't play. At all? Uh, or the place can be fined. So when he was asking me about, like, where do I get music from? I'd be like, well, just go here. And he'd be like, yeah, but aren't you downloading that without buying it? I'm like, yeah, why? And he's like, because it doesn't work that way. In, in Italy, like you can't. There's police. There's just police. They go to every nightclub and shit. What crazy. The fuck? Yeah, that's fucking crazy. It's Is wild. that the only place he really experienced something like that? Would someone who would experience that? Well, that's what he said. I, I don't know. Mm. I never dealt with it. But damn, that's up. So we didn't get we didn't get your uh, your jam of the week and your old school jam of the week. What was it? Oh yeah. What were, so what were your songs? Let's my get... jam of the week. God, I don't even fucking know, man. Oh, look here. Like usually, jam of the week's like something newer, like something that you just got put on, and then uh, the old school is like something that you love from like back in the day. You know a, what I mean? A beat I made. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> something, listen- something with an iTunes link, in case like somebody on uh, one of our listeners oh, likes. I'm about to put it out. You know what? Um, I'll go with the. Uh, like jam of the week, like some new shit that came out. You said. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. The closest shit would probably be um, oh here it is uh, catch me on falling uh, by Kelly Finnegan 
Is that cast me you now? I'm falling, <laughs> falling in love. <laughs> oh, that's definitely not it. Yeah. Okay. I tend to listen to a lot of like really calm music. We were no, on the same. Nice, nice. We were on the same page here. That was funny though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's going to sound crazy on the replay. I'm going to add reverb and all that shit to that right there. I might even throw the beat in the background. <laughs> oh, that's chill. And I, I listen I, to a lot of like... If you can, super. send that link to this fool's phone so he yeah. can put it in the cl- the notes and all that yes, shit. Yes, please. Okay. Add the shit to the, to the And to then the uh, I'll tell you, man. You're old school. I thought about a couple... But this shit right here is probably like, uh, this is my shit right here, man. See if y'all, see if y'all know this. Santana? No, 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 no. Close. War? No. Now we go mellow back. The live live version too. Hmm. Yeah. What is this one? How does this one go? Let's get the hands yeah. up all in the fire. That's war, right? Yeah. Yeah, I knew I, I knew that sounded familiar. That's some like Kennedy Park fucking su- Sunday, Sunday night Darkiello slow jams, shit, you know? I want to send a shout out to Little little Sleepy. <laughs> I want to send a Sunday night slow. They have the fiestas over there at fucking Kennedy. Kennedy. Yeah, I used to go there. Yeah, man. That's, I used to love that that's, shit. That's that shit right there. Exactly. I, I've been listening to a lot of Fleet, I miss those Fleet, fiestas, Fleetwood bro. Fleetwood Mac, man. Fleetwood Mac, Steely Dan. Oh, man. Those are some 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 throwback Fucking, um, that, I, that I enjoy. I, I really some I really crystal like, blue persuasion. I really don't. I listen to rap, but I listen to like very chill rap. That's where I'm at too. Part, man. I can't like, stand six nine. Do I wish he was in jail? No. <laughs> I don't wish that upon anybody. You know what I'm saying? Wild, it is what it is. That whole shit's wild. But that new dummy boy shit with the that song with Nicki Minaj and Kanye, Mama. I don't even listen to it, man. Fuck. Wait, which are, that's that's not the one. That's not the one with Kanye. Oh, that is it. Yeah, that yeah. song goes so hard. I've been gone, man. I haven't had a chance. It goes so hard, I li- bro. Man. I listen to podcasts. that's my new jam. I listen to podcasts all the time. Me too. Me too. Yeah, me too. Like I'm in the car, like Joe Budden podcast is on. He's a it has a good podcast. That so dude. good, bro. Speaking of podcasts, we got to give a shout out to our not safe for work podcast network that we're a part of. Okay. So a little, it's a little click of Twitter homies that I got involved with and shit. Like a couple of podcasts that I was listening to. Okay, they have this little thing on. There's like probably like ten of us, and there's like some from San Diego, some from like New Jersey, some from Florida. The ones from Florida are like the main ones. They put in like a lot of the work and shit like that. They have the network and everything going, but they're dope, dude. Everybody like shares each other's shit. Okay, we get like fuck loads of retweets from these dudes, man. It's Tight. crazy. Yeah. Cool. And yeah, they have Twitter, they have some pretty dope ass podcasts. You can, if on you there commit too, to man. Twitter, man, that's how you can get a lot of your shit popped. Oh, for oh sure, yeah. big time. This like, for sure. And my throwback is uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers. Can't stop, won't stop. Okay, that's a good one, man. You can't play the whole thing, but you know, we fucking can't play any of it. What hey, are you talking we, about? What do we want here? You know, this is this is my land. <laughs> you know, well, I, yeah, I, but, I like uh, off of that shit, bro. Um, porcelain, yeah, is one of my favorite joints. Off of there, you know what's a trip, and you probably won't think that I'd like that song. Is uh, I could die for you. It's a real slow. Oh, the so Aerosmith yeah. song? No, 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 no. From the CD. I thought you talking about PM Don and shit. From fucking the uh, by the way CD. That that's the one of the name of the song. I could die for you. It's like a slow jam. It's not Play one it. of the more popular ones. Mm. Just have them edited out. I'm gonna get flagged like oh. Herm. <laughs> yeah, that's a banger. Yeah. That's a banger, man. I, bro, it's crazy. Like I listen to getting my feelers and shit. So much driving, shit, just <laughs> Coldplay. No. I, I listen to a lot of Coldplay. Man. I don't cry. Mm. <laughs> that my uh, my what I'm gonna call it. My jam of the week was that that um, what's free. Uh, Meek oh, Mill yeah. featuring Rick For Ross sure. and Jay Z. That shit was dope. I was like, dude, yeah. I was, I was like, listening to I was like either you or me or one of us was going to fucking have that song. That's dope. And then this is my old school right here. I, just, I like this one. 
Oh, oh, you hear me on the radio? <laughs> I listen to a, I listen to a lot of Biggie this week. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. because of what's beef. Yeah, exactly. It kind of made me. I, I started listening. I had to go I back, back and listen to the original to one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. the Ten Crack Commandments, and then fucking. Yo, what's what's beef? He says some foul shit on there. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I listened to that shit. I was like, yo, what? Right. To put that me whole in album. ICU. Yeah, he's like, don't you know my homeboy fucks kids? <laughs> yeah, he's all fucking. Dead. He's like, and he'll throw There's some raw shit on that whole album. Over the bridge. Yeah, yeah. He's done. He'll throw him over the bridge. I'm like, yo, what? Yeah. All right. I don't know. That whole album was deep. I think my favorite shit on there was fucking uh, yo. the one with Rick, with uh, R. Kelly. You must be oh, used to me spending. Yo, how old, was, how old was Biggie on Ready to Die? I'd say what, like 20 maybe? What do you think? 19. Yeah, I think he was 20. Was he 20? 22, maybe. Because cause cause the that shit came out, and then they both passed away at 26, right? If I'm not mistaken, him and Tupac were both 26 years okay. old when they died. I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm not and a I know, crazy Tupac and fan. And I know so. uh, he, my You're Pac. not a big Tupac fan? No. No? Yeah, everybody. I'm, it's, I'm cool with It's him. one or the other. I don't, I don't hate him, but. Sometimes it's, it just I always get I always get flack on my own podcast for this, but. I, 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 he wasn't. He's not top 10 to you? Yeah, like he's not. He's Were just, you like, was it because of the East Coast West nah, or you just nah, didn't nah, feel nah. him from the jump? I told Vinny Menes he was a better actor than he was a, a rapper. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, that's just my opinion. Some of my favorite joints are the East Coast joints that he did, like the shit off Sunset Park. Mm. Yeah. And shit. Like those were, those are bangers. Bro, he man. did iconic films, Jews, Above the Rim. Do you know any Poetic song, Justice. Do you know, um, do you know any songs off of. Um, strictly for my N words. Yeah, not you not trackless yeah. one through ten, but I mean I'm pretty strictly, sure uh, that one had. Um, what was the main joint on that one? Strictly for that my N words. That one had. That like one that. had. I get around. I get around. Okay. Was it? It was on. I, was on I don't know because right. I can't. Because because <laughs> I don't it, think most people can. I don't think it was on. Um, uh, all eyes on me. All yeah. eyes on me. There was the double disc. Yeah, that was it the was. one that we all know. All and the joints off of that. And but. Brenda's got a baby was on. Okay. For my hours. Like <laughs> and those were the two. <laughs> but the one before that. Yeah. The one Which before one that. Ah, fuck, I can't remember the name of it. But there was a song on there called Violent. That strictly, shit. The Strictly Holy joint has one of the best album covers of all time. Though the Strictly is a pretty dope one. Yo, too. you listen yeah. to podcasts? You said right? Yeah. So there's this series of podcasts called Dissect. I don't know if I've ever mentioned it to you, but they did um, Frank Ocean's. Uh, oh, where they did dissect the whole album and shit. They talk about the entire fucking album and shit. Yeah, I see yeah. that. It's been recommended on my Stitcher page. It's good. It's season two. It. Um, or no, season one. Which, uh, but which album? The newest one or the older one? No, it's uh, Thinking About You. Which CD is that? Channel Orange? Yeah, that's Orange. Yeah. I'll send the thing to you okay. so you can check it out. It's pretty good. It's in depth. Uh, they do uh, my uh, beautiful uh, dark twisted fantasy. Yeah, they do Kendrick's. Yo, Joe Budden does some of the best breakdowns of albums. Well, he, you know, when he broke the down day, the Scorpion album, I was fucking loving it. Bro. I fucking love that the way he broke the screen and like made that everybody. Crazy, he was like he, everybody thought that all the shit that Drake was talking was about fucking. What's his face? But most of it was really about Kanye. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like yeah. it was crazy. Which you know? makes, in my opinion, Drake. Still taking L. So. Oh yeah. No, I mean he took you that believe L. That I know you've talked about that on your podcast about that Jay Prince telling him to fucking calm down and shit. Do you believe that? You don't think he? You I think he, he had something in the chamber? He fucked him, dude. I think he fucked him, or one of them. I don't think so. You don't think so? You don't think he had one in the I chamber know, that would man. end careers? I mean, I don't know. No, these guys are mega stars, bro. Like no one cares. Well, they live next door to each other, right? I guess. Yeah. yeah Drake has a house in Calabasas. <laughs> But I, I did see the breakdown of like the directions he gives at like his house <laughs> and shit. Um, <laughs> but like Drake made a house call. Oh, dog. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If that went down in his bedroom, bro. But mm. I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like the way that pushes. Would you smell one of her farts? Kim? Yeah. 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 Oh, I enjoy her. Bottle. Bottle. <laughs> Bottle that shit and sell it, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do enjoy that, but no, I, I I don't know. Would that even fucking end Kanye's career? I don't. I think it drive him. I think it drive him a little further no, off the edge. We don't. Would you believe it? 
Yep. Wifey when I'm off my benzo. I would think so. How I, I could believe, believe it. it. How could you believe it? How could you even know? Well, you don't know. I don't, but I, I feel like when you're rich, you can make shit like that happen and not nobody find out. You know I what I'm saying? I you can get you can get that fucking late night limo take you down there and shit. Kim opens up the back door. The fucking everybody <laughs> else is asleep. You know, he just knocks hard. that shit out. He's dipping, dude. And then so they poor talk people about have it later. ring, okay, where they set up at your house with the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you imagine what rich people have? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know that she can go and turn that off, right? No, and I get that. I get, Real that. Quick. I get that. But can you imagine the kind of quality technology like someone that has money has? <laughs> Like you probably got a 3D scan of yeah, but you they, walking up, you know. Yeah, I don't. I don't. That's like pays, a direct she pays the, the security dude. Shit. She pays the security dude to make know, a fucking man. film. I don't know if I would believe it or not, but I I wouldn't even give a fuck. You could be like, meet me at the meet me at the fucking store down on fucking Hollywood Boulevard or whatever the fuck, and then hit a hotel real you quick. You ever stayed dude? at the? Uh, um, is it called the Chateau? No, Chateau Marmont in uh, in Hollywood. Uh, w. I want to, man. Say the W. They say there's a bunch of stars that stay there all the time. W is like that. W yeah. Is tight. Uh, the dude's from fucking uh, LMFAO or like chilling in the lobby with us and shit. For real. Mm. Watching soccer. It's just, it's like LA, man. No big deal. It's like, it's you're bound to run into somebody. Yeah. But it's cool. I would, you know, the traffic though, it's crazy. We always talk about that it. sucks, man. Yeah. It, there's just no way around it. That's podcast time, homie. Yeah. So when you listen to your fucking podcast, you just be like, so no, I get it. I get it. Yeah, so let's get it. Put, no, put it on man, it's, it's, it's brutal, man. Because at some point I was going out there like every month for a weekend at least, probably a couple weekends for a couple years. And God damn, bro. Like, it's crazy because I would drive with my artists to go to Hollywood to work during the day, video shoot, studio time, whatever we did. And then at night, we would drive back to West LA, and it would take me fifteen minutes to get from like West Hollywood to like like South Central area. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but during the day, it took me like an hour. Yeah, fuck yeah, everything is hour sick. And fifteen minutes. Like I remember one of the last times I was there, it said like your destination is eight minutes and it was forty five minutes, eight mm. miles, seven miles and it was forty five minutes. Mm. That was Hawaii yeah, I shit, dude. Easily, Oof. I could easily run that. It's fucking crazy. In less than that time. I'm thinking we had a conversation on the lo- the last podcast. I might be jumping into a little Supreme reselling business. Yeah, you're gonna do it. <laughs> I might I might be taking the trip, dog. Take a couple racks up there, hit it one day like one size, and then the next day hit it another size like do a large. The one day, the next day an XL. Get as much chonies as I can and all the little accessories, and then take them to fucking Jr's Zillionaire store. <coughs> How much did you make off that? I made about eighty bucks off of like three items. I How spent one thirty and I made about one eighty, one ninety. Okay. So there's a markup. You sit on it for a little bit, but that's sixty dollars. Like huh? You said eighty. That's sixty. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm high right now. So <laughs> that's your excuse for everything. No, but uh, <laughs> shit, why not? <laughs> the shoe fits, motherfucker. Uh, this motherfucker. No, uh, do it, man. Hey. So I, that was off a hundred and some dollar. Investment. So if I invest two, three thousand in it, mm. the return is going to be a lot higher. Now I got to do the math on. <laughs> you got to you know, get there gas, on days where the shit's available too. Gas. Dude. No, no, dude. It's they always have. Well, if stuff. it's one thirty and you made one ninety at sixty dollars, and sixty dollars is basically fifty percent. That's, that's the gas to get to LA, folks. So you got to think like <laughs> right, right. So that's what I'm saying. I got to type in all the numbers with the gas getting over there, purchasing it. Returning food, where, food. where I'm gonna stay. You know no, this dude was this dude was like, you bro, drive one time. Car, he said bro. a 24 hour shit. He's like, you drive one way, I'll, I'll sleep. That plenty of times. Fuck you know that. what I'm saying? I cannot drive with somebody else. My brother is down. All right, well. Get some green over there. Fucking. <laughs> it's not. Rec- <laughs> it's not recreation over there. Are you sure? Uh, yeah, it is. Are you sure it is? <laughs> I thought I it was to, only medical. When I went to San Jose in the summer. I fucking went into a fucking thing. I was like, "This is my ID. Here you oh, go." Okay, I didn't know. I, I thought it signed was a paper. I thought it was for local people only. Like I you had to edibles. have a California fucking license. The only, the only thing they won't do is give you higher dosages. So like, See, say no rips a recreational, he can get a five hundred milligram dosage. You being a medical, you can get a thousand milligram dosage. <laughs> so that's the kind of shit. 
That's crazy. I got the highest THC content available <laughs> there. Like, they had crumble. Yeah, weed culture is crazy, man. Damn. Y'all are so weird. Weed is so fucking weird to me, man. Oh, I mean, it's cool. I mean, they need to just start that, taxing this shit and just make it legal everywhere. I don't wake up to the morning quit bullshit. and just, you know, start sparking. Like, no? it's a, it's a, it's a, <laughs> like a wine at the end of the night. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know what I do to wine. I just don't wind down. Well, I mean, shit. Fuck, you must, you I must jerk off like a fucking maniac. Out. Then I got a client, and Maybe I do his. Uh, I do his logos for him, and he provides me with free fucking gear and shit. Is that live? Shit like that. What do you mean? Is what live? That pin. Yeah. What do you mean Why live? You be passing it around the whole time. I didn't know it was cool. I didn't know I mean, it was cool. Shit. I thought you were always like it smells. No, nah, fuck no. <laughs> well, goddamn. Hey, you know what? I'm all for sobriety. If that works for you, great. <laughs> but you drink, though, right? You drink, you drink? You don't do anything? No, I've been to many a gigs and never seen a beer in this dude's hand. No, hey. nothing, man. Hey, no man. You know, whatever drink. works for you, works for you, brother. Yeah, Let's start, I don't... Man. I don't... Uh, it's easier to be successful that way. Yeah, I feel you. No know, More, 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 more clarity. More, yeah. I feel like my mixing becomes better when I'm high. It's because you're high. <laughs> you're the only one that hears it that way. Like with, when I'm sober, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, fuck, these people aren't vibing. When you I'm get high, high I'm like, like, I don't give a it's fuck. Like, I'm like, for me, like it's all a cha- everything is a challenge. Oh for yeah. Me. So I like trying to over. I love the challenge of like being a good DJ, man. Mm. I just don't like being fucking sober. This no. guy, <laughs> <laughs> the, the <laughs> diner. <laughs> Did you participate in No Nut November? Fuck no. Mm. Fuck, I'm a grown ass like man. Like five I'm minutes into that shit, and no, I'm, I'm sorry. Gro- I'm a grown ass man. I'm fucking nutting all over the place. But I do have uh, another question for you, and I like asking this question. I got a question, and you're on an island, okay? Okay. And you can only have one album, one book, one movie, and one food. Okay, what so wait, they? start again. One album, like one music album, one book, one movie, and one food. <sighs> People under the stairs. Because you're there forever, dude. So. People under the stairs. Dude, that movie was so fucking lit. No. The, the movie album. or the, the album? Okay. <laughs> the rappers. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, yo, that's wrong. This dude. <laughs> you remember uh, that? The dude's like, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> People under the stairs probably. Uh, that shit made me brush my teeth every step, day, dog. I'm looking at that other, fucker. One step. of their albums. One of their albums. Uh, People under the stairs, probably. Uh. Movie, yeah. Can I take like a series? Yeah, yeah, you can do that. The Office, probably. The whole series. Is that a Sopranos, man? Oh, the, the fucking ending killed me. It was, it was crazy. You just know, eh? It is what read, it is. Did you read what happened? No, nobody. I'm, I've looked. I've looked everywhere. He Tell said, me. Well, there's a couple things. One is that he says like it, um, in a couple episodes what happens, and he says everything just fades to black when you get shot. Right. So the dude that did go into so the bathroom the dude, the came ta- back out. Yeah, that comes back out. It said he shot mm. him. Oh, he, and that's what the that's what the the writer the See, I looked for that shit and no, I couldn't a, find the writer. There's an interview. It just came out like a year ago. Ah, okay, cuz this was cuz I got into the Sopranos like maybe a couple years ago like that and oh, I, I watched the whole shit. I was fucking dedicated and then I I've just like that shit like five times. I started to get so fucking You just, fuck with the wire? That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um yeah. food I have to say a burrito, man. Burrito? A taco. From where? A real taco. A real a taco. taco. Homemade homemade taco or from some place? Oh no, I'm not I'm not going anywhere. I'm going like my crib. I'm going chicken, burrito, maybe some rice. In the burrito or on the side? In the burrito. Nice. Chicken, rice, cheese, a little beans. Bit, a right. little bit of I can do I could do with or without the beans. Mm. Uh, just a little cheese, some French dressing, and some sriracha, man. Okay, so like, burrito. Like and what was the book you said? Did you say book? Um, book. I'd have to go with. Well, none of the books that I read really be applicable. If I want to fuck rich dad, poor dad won't do shit for me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> on a fucking island. It's a good book, though. It is it's a great book. Um, I liked. Uh... Oh God, what was the last book that I was reading? Um, I like Charlemagne's book a lot. The the newest one that just came out? No, I didn't even get it. The older one? Yeah, the first one. Okay. Yeah, I know which one you're talking about. I just don't remember the name either. I got the newest one. I got the newest one on uh, Audible. Yep, yep. 
I like that shit. I use, I like Audible, being, I use Audible for everything. I love being read too. <laughs> yeah. You just drive and fucking uh, listen. Yeah. Yep. What, yeah. what was the last thing? Uh, I think you got them all. It was one album, one movie, one food. It's got to be a burrito is like the best thing on earth, man. Burritos are pretty fire. I fucked around and said chilaquilas. Yeah. Yeah, He was on one. I was like, that's real, bro. (laughs) That's real commitment. Mine was mariscos, like fucking ceviche and fucking shit like that. Mm. I got to be able to roll up a fat burrito, but like I only eat like chicken and turkey. Yeah. You know beef, dude? Nah. So I haven't eaten beef in like, god damn. 12 years. Really? Yeah. That's deep. Years. You go to the gym and shit every day or you yeah. work out all the time? Yeah, 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 what do you yeah. do? Uh, I like to run. I like a lot of cardio. I was lifting for a while, but that's just trash. <laughs> <laughs> that shit ain't going to help you live longer. That's going to fucking fuck your joints up and shit. I'm going to tell you this. Though. Oh, this motherfucker right here. I could. F- I used to wrestle in high school. Okay, I can see that. All right. <laughs> your, your ears ain't cauliflower, so you ain't no, that good, bro. Wait, no, because I fucking didn't take any pictures, dog. Like, I didn't stay in... I found weed. Okay? okay. <laughs> weed and women. Okay. And that's why I stopped fucking with football, stopped fucking with wrestling, everything. I could, probably could have got a fucking scholarship, but, you know? <laughs> Trying to get a motherfucking scholarship. Fucking weed is what one of my favorite lines of all time right there, bro. The Uncle up, Rico, you up know up what I'm saying? Trying to get a motherfucking scholarship. scholarship. Well, Chilling. Um, yeah, I like to, uh, I, bro, I, I could play basketball, like, every day. Well, I could body slam somebody. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, catch him first, bro. <laughs> hey, my spring game ain't on point, but. I know you ain't got distance, bro. Come bro, on. Bro, I'm telling chill. you right now. Give me, How, like, a week or smile? two. Give me a week or what's two, the and then we'll do five. What's the you've ever run? Uh, probably eight. Okay. And that was when you were in high school, probably? I uh, know, about a year ago. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's good. No, nice. I, I mean, I ran two in 16. Yeah, okay. So. I was doing like at my fastest. I was doing like five Ks in twenty four. Okay, probably. I was trying to get it to twenty. That's hard as fuck. I'm over here getting ready to start that DDP yoga meter. Dude, <laughs> I want to jump on that shit. I'm gonna do that shit. It's nah, on man, sale. I, I like to play basketball a lot. It's on sale right now. Is it? Um, Yo. Ride bikes, swim. Yeah, fucking riding's tight. I haven't got. I haven't had a chance to ride lately, but I was gonna do a. I was gonna do a triathlon. Dude, that's but, uh, dope. That's commitment right there. Yeah, my, my daughter was born early. So I was training and she came. And then uh, I, I just couldn't. You just couldn't do it. You're like, no. Well, I was at the hospital and shit. For nice. Years, so. Nice. But, uh, but, but you yeah. were in the best shape of your life? Yeah, man. I fucking, I could bike. I could ride like, I mean, I was riding like 19 miles, swimming like, Half a mile, I'm fucking running like a 5K. Like, bro, it was real. Bro, it was tight. It was real tight. Mm. But then now, like, I just, I try and calorie count as much as I can. You know, I lift so much that I eat whatever the fuck I want. Oh, yeah. Honestly. Lifting is for sure one of the best fat burners. Like, I do compound movements, too. Like, I'm not really trying to (coughs) power clean, you know what I'm saying? Or even deadlift crazy. Just because it's not practical. I'm not gonna be wrestling anybody i'm not gonna be trying to hit somebody on the the fucking defensive line you know what i'm saying yeah like, but when you're playing basketball though those explosive well, i don't know yeah key, yeah you know? i just stay ready that's that's my thing <laughs> you know what i'm bro. saying it's my thing is like yo ready. here's the thing is like, i don't have if a dad the fucking body, zombies you know? come bro like i need to be the most well suited to take care of the people that i care about oh for sure yeah and well, I have asthma, so I'm won't, fucked. And I won't, I'm fucked. That's not going to happen if I'm power, if I'm fucking bench pressing 480. Well, if you don't bench press a bear, then what the fuck are you doing it for? No, bro, you can't. Because <laughs> they're still going to fuck, you can't run. Right, 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 right. That's the problem. So, the, like, I need to be able huge. to fucking, I need to be able to keep a steady pace to outrun the zombies. Right. Realistically, you never get well, huge we're, unless we're you're talking, taking roids. But you're talking like, you know, you're talking, uh... What like Walking Dead zombies, right? Because you're like not talking super about fast. 28 days later zombies. Is like, yeah, um, oh, yeah. yeah. even I can outrun Walking Dead what, zombies. What in your right world? Now. What kind of zombies are they going to be? 28 day later zombies, <laughs> or Walking Dead? I think I think of a zombie as a Walking Dead. Yeah, zombie. me walking too. Dead. Me too. Because uh, yo, bro, like that shit's like the fucking 28 day later, like fucking I am Legend shit, like. World War Z. Fucking crazy, dude. Yeah, that's not real, bro. Because nah, so. if you think about literally just the science of that shit. Decomposing your body, <laughs> bro. Like you're a zombie. Like, it like, you don't, yeah, it made them ten times muscles, faster and stronger. Muscles literally need like living tissue, mm. right? 
So, like, you're a fucking zombie, bro. Like, you're not, like, you're not consistently working out as a zombie. Right. And you're not fueling your body because eventually you're going to run out of shit right, to the eat. proteins are not there. Because you can get protein from you're, anything, but I don't think these things have brains smart enough to, like, really think about, dead. like, going brains. to eat fucking beans and shit. Right. It's fucking great. And they're not entrepreneurs and shit, so no one's being like, yo, let's just start a fucking business. We'll sell <laughs> a zombie collective. Zombie homies beans. Zombie fucking, yeah. Let know yeah. that, like, quinoa and beans create a compound that's higher protein. They than human brain. That shit. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? So they're like, going to get so, into zombie healthcare, and then <laughs> the first guy is going to no. be like, I don't, I don't. They don't know about the internet, bro. No. They don't know about pansy. Zombie keto. They don't even understand that their hands can be So used realistically, I could see how it could happen in a zombie apocalypse. What I'm saying is that... Eating you, that tainted meat. Even if you're swole, though, mm. you'll still get fucked up by a walking right, dead right, zombie. Right. But you'll never get swole swole until you start shooting roids. Yeah. Like, you get big. I saw. I watched the documentary the other day on Ronnie Coleman. Right. Isn't it sad? How he's with the but fucking But he didn't even braces. fucking use steroids. Bro. I mean, I get you, though, because I, I mean, feel you. Because I'm like, yo, if your joints are going out like yeah, that, bro. Yeah. You had to be juicing at some Dude, point. Dude, no. You don't get... you. Okay, physically, as a human, you can't... There's a ceiling. Yeah, for sure. There's a I ceiling. Mean, th- those guys are all fucking supplemented out. It's though. not... You don't get to Mr. Olympia unless you have extensive yeah, years of steroids. You notice in that shit? There's not one mention of it ever. Of Olympia? Of steroids. <clears> oh, <throat> well, of course not. Of course not. Is that like one fucking... But it's not a secret, though, you know? Yeah. Like, you have to be naive to really think that these monsters no, of agree. mass that you see aren't injecting themselves morning, noon, and night. They're just cows, On bro. a regimen. Yeah, like, exactly. They're prize... They're prize cows. That's all they are, bro. They're just like like us fucking turning chickens, like a, tur- a turnaround of a chicken in a week with like... The, like the hormones. Yeah. Oh, it's like the same thing as like... A human being. You're yeah. just pumping fucking hormones. That's why there's so body. much man boobs nowadays. It's just like you're fucking the Gynecomastia is the side effect of taking steroids yeah. because yeah. what happens is your your estrogen receptors get cut off completely. For sure. Your testosterone levels go out the fucking roof. Mm-hmm. Well, once that steroid stops kicking back, it's going to overcompensate for the time that it's been gone. Yeah. And that's when you're fucking... Hashtag titties. Man boobs. Hashtag man boobs. Yep. Uh. <laughs> Honestly, bro, it's horrible. After I'm a kid, my ex used to work late nights, uh, waitressing and shit. So she would get home and I would eat very, very late. Well, it's fucking two, three in the morning, and we're fucking eating Burger King every fucking night. Jack and yeah, no right? I started getting man tits, bro. Yeah. And I fucking said, that's it. That was my catalyst. <laughs> And I told myself, if I ever fucking break up, I'm not going to be able to pull no fucking bitches. <laughs> I swear to God, bro, that was my mentality. And look mm, what happened. I we just, broke up. I don't even fucking, I don't even eat fast food, man. I, I'm so a fucking pig, bro, when I eat. Seriously. <laughs> so, I, I treat my I'm temple you, like man, shit. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's just, it's not about like, for me, it's not even about looks. It's just about like making sure that I last. Honestly, mm-hmm. I'm just glad that when I That's take just my. catch up to you, man. My, my, my penis works. That's it. That's the only thing that matters. Think about it. You take you diabetes can't gauge, medicine. Bro, you can't gauge your health off of your penis working. You're a Hispanic male. Your dick's going to work until you're fucking 90. Not if you bro. have fucking diabetes. Mm. You got to take those blood thinners and shit. That's my biggest fear is diabetes. Well, you're going to get diabetes. No, 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 no. You're a Hispanic male again. Yeah, but the thing about it is, is like... And you eat fucking fast food. You're on the fuck. You're fat. on your way, bro. You're you know, on your way to being a diabetic. I'm gonna Mike. tell you this. I'm gonna live my life. <laughs> you're not. Hashtag you're gonna live my it best for life. About fucking 15 more years. Hey, Ugh. listen. I work out so I can eat like shit. That's not doesn't work. It's not that a fair correlate. exchange. I know that doesn't correlate. It's but. not. It doesn't work like that. Man. It's like I tell. Hey, you God's working shit. on all of us, bro. Fuck. God's not real. <laughs> you don't know my life. <laughs> God doesn't exist. No, I mean, <laughs> I've, I've had lapses life. in faith lately. I don't, I don't, I don't believe in God at all. No, man. no. I don't believe you there's don't like just some sort of a being. I, I mean, as far as like the whole church, because I was raised, you know, Catholic as fuck and all yeah. that shit too. But like, I've kind of yes, the necessary, definitely like, I don't like the structure of it. You know what I'm saying? Sure. The, the foundation, be, the belief, like? the belief in something greater than you. I mean, I can see where people get drawn into that. Cause some people need that. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy that people need, yeah. it. And, and and it's not saying that everybody that is that is a weak minded person, but a lot of it is. 
because they'll believe that shit. They they oh. they've they what is it? They they've uh, they've caught you with the fear. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They bring sure. you in with the fear and shit like that, That's, dude. Bro, that Have is... you seen the new the, the new Robin Hood, dude? It touches on this shit like oh, a yeah. motherfucker. Oh, it was really? a it was a shitty it was uh, it was an all right movie. Okay, it was an all right movie. There was some <laughs> shitty lines. But it was a good movie. But it, ta- dude, it talked about like some recent ass. Like it was all about their government and the. I fucking- never met no line that's been bad, homie. Uh, hey, nah, just <laughs> hey, hey, <laughs> just kidding, man. Nah, dude. Hey. But no, I just I I believe in like the universe. I believe in something's happening, but I don't like create it. Like I studied biology and shit, so of course, like I don't believe that. Like, God so you believe we evolved? Creator. We just evolved from fucking it's, something. Uh, yeah, the but monkey people, shit. Like, really, like take that shit out of context, like. The theory of evolution and natural selection is not like necessarily that we like came from primates directly, like like the fucking pictures you see of like monkeys turning into fucking man and shit. Yeah, it's not really necessarily like that, but it is. But it's I don't know, it's different. But yeah, I, I just I don't know. I don't really question. You just believe anything. we're here, and when we're gone, we're gone, right? All that yeah, it is what it is. I feel the same way, man. I, I, just, I, I hate the fact that I that I was I was raised on some shit that c- c- technically be a lie. I mean, is it is it not? I don't know. It's how you, yeah, how you fucking, fucking lie. You know what do you mean? mean? Yes, I mean, I get it's a lie, lie but I it's mean, like I don't think it's a good moral code. But the principle, think, principle of it, the principle of it behind it, the foundations of it are decent. It's a good moral compass, and they create yeah, yeah. It definitely, like you could be a good person if you sure. follow right. you know, well, what Christianity. Is Some of the teachings and shit. You could yeah. be a bad person if you follow Christianity. Well, what, what is you know? a good person and what is a bad person? I mean, I think, I think there's do like unto basic... others as you want done unto you. Yeah, fuck that. No, like I'm not gonna go I mean, out and fucking of, set you up. Know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Like going with a gun in the fucking bank and fucking. This dude just looked at me straight in the eye with those things. Like, no, he's like, like I'm not yeah. set you up. No, he's like, like no. Yeah. What you don't know the dude's, set me a, up with? I got dude's a gun sitting in my car outside right by your car I'm right legal. now. I wouldn't, I wouldn't intentionally put you in a situation. Have you walk into a building setting you up? Okay. And I and I'll assume that you would grant me the same type of treatment. Like that's that's why. Yeah, I but say like do a lot of that shit is like not even a realistic take on life. Like do unto others as you would have others do unto you. No one does that. Now, I get, I get you. It doesn't matter what they do. You right, do what right, you're right. gonna do. But you, you have, you but respond you accordingly. To, but you have though. to adapt. But to you respond how accordingly. Treat. Right, yeah. right, 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 right. Yeah, you yeah. respond accordingly. Everybody doesn't get but your I, bracing think, arms. You know what I'm saying? I say a lot of the same thing though. Like it's all about positivity. It's all yeah. about shredding that positive energy. It's all about turning negatives into positive. It's all about when people present you with negatives, you 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 relay it in a way. But I just have issues with, uh, I guess, like. The devout the part, false sense of security that is portrayed through a lot of like biblical passages religions and, and like, like religions and shit. Yeah. Instead of having self reflection, it's more of passing your issues and things that are going on in your life over to a, your higher power, and I think that creates people that lack um, that self drive, self motivation, and self awareness. So they need to be told what to do. I don't think they need to be told what to do, but they need to take some fucking ownership of the pieces of shit or whatever they are. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, There's a yeah. lot of Christians that fucking suck. Dude, oh my god. You know goodness. what I mean? And it's not – I think in some cases it is a direct correlation to them being Christians and them believing that – Better than thou. They can, not even that, but just that they can do certain things. And, and then they'll be forgiven. God yeah. And – or act certain ways because they know God has them in the end. Well, it doesn't work like that. You can't just pray for money and you get money. You got to work hard. Right. You I gotta, just never understood like you could do a whole life of bad shit and then on your deathbed be sorry about it and then be forgiven. Yeah, that's all. It don't work Bible. that way. The Bible's like a man-made thing, man. Like, but I'm just it, saying that like, don't work that way. There's though. like no yeah, realistically. For sure. You know for what sure. I'm saying? But it does though. Real. Here's the crazy shit about life that I think about all the time. It's like who gives a fuck? You could really be the biggest fucking piece of shit on the world. But, like, if you were a piece of shit your whole life and on your deathbed you say, I'm sorry for it, like, people already probably forgot about most of the shit you did. Unless it's some real hood rat shit. <laughs> but even so. No. No. You, you've some never, rat shit. You've, you've never had the setup, bro. The setup. You've never had nothing done to you <laughs> that you could never forgive? No. No? Well, good for you. You yeah. have good for. Hey, I mean, how much time do you got, <laughs> dude? I holds grudges. No, no, no. I don't hold grudges, but it's just That's what it sounds like. I just don't fuck with those people no more. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Not fucking with them doesn't mean that I don't have any hate tor- hatred towards care. them. Yeah, I don't. I don't care. Man. I, it's too too much energy to yes. hate. 
You know? I it's like, too much energy to have enemies and fucking. I just don't fuck you with you. Like, yeah, it's just yeah, but like I, I love around. myself way too much to let anything that you or anyone else. I thought do. about killing you today. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Like, I, and I love I, you. I and love that's, myself. But that's honestly that's some shit that I related to a ton because like on some real shit, like no one's more important than me, man. Yeah. Like I, I know it sounds crazy, but like in my world and in my life, like I'm number one, and 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 I'm number one in other people's life. So right. if I make sure that I'm okay, you guys are all going to be okay. Right, right, Because I right. got fucking employees that depend on me. I got homies that I buy groceries for their families. I got kids that I teach after school. I got all kinds of shit that I do. Right. And if I'm not okay and treating me like I'm number one, I'm affecting a lot of motherfucking people's rappers' careers, security guards, fucking my homies that depend on me, all the other shit. So I'm like, mm. as long as I'm straight, we're all straight, bro. Right. 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 Amen to that. I'm like I'm a pretty fucking like tough headed motherfucker, man. Like it's pretty hard to crack me. You get the irony in that, the amen to that. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, so it's for me it's like I, I don't know anybody that's done some foul shit. Like, you know, I got a little animosity towards my mom, but I don't know if there's anything that's like I'm like, fuck you, I'm not talking to you. I'll talk to anyone. I got I got friends that try to punch me, I got friends that owe me fucking thousands of dollars. Not even friends. I got people that I know that I used right. to work with. But I just th- always think of shit as like, yo, it's all right. I you, I pay $1,200 to not lose $1,200 more. You know what I mean? You messed me with that punch and that just showed it before you get around my loved ones and I have to deal with something where I have to fucking shoot you. You know what I right. mean? Like, mm. And then I'm gone forever. You yeah. know what I mean? And I can't be the man that I need to be for whoever I need it to be. You know what I mean? So for me, man, like, and I tell my friends this all the time, like, no one's more important than you, man. But you got to do it in a way that's unselfish to where you're like, I'm straight. All right, it's time to make sure that all my friends and all my family. Because my rule of thumb is like, bro, I got to put money in everybody's pocket. I put money in your pocket. Oh, for sure. You know what I mean? I care about my friends. And I care about my friends that I don't need to fucking tell you you're a handsome man. You can get through life. Because the reality is that. Money is important, man. Oh, for sure. Mm. It's important. And if my friends are putting some extra money, like, I know that I'm committed to that relationship. So if you think some different shit, like, yo, they might not give me this, this, and this, but they give me their friendship, that's cool and all. But if we can all get bread together and then have a friendship that exists with inside of that, like, that's the way the world works, bro. Oh, for sure. I mean, mm. ultimately, you want to surround yourself with people you can really better, better, it's better to get bettered by knowing them yeah. build with yeah you, you just gotta have to <coughs> they said you surround yourself with money and then you'll get money yeah I mean we, we all know friends that like haven't been a fit like they're our friends but they're not on the same level as us bro mm-hmm. we all know people that we're like man you're a super cool dude but I can't hang out and smoke weed and like fuck bitches all day mm-hmm. not all day <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying though he like likes there's rock people and roll that like I mean, that's you know, like their shit man Red Dead Redemption did just go online you know so you got a little <laughs> little time for that but no, that's the thing. no I get what you're saying everybody though everybody needs their own time to do their but you, own thing you get man. grown at some point yeah but no like but not you, everybody does though but the thing not is like UK does, for you yeah. for example when you're not DJing you're not in the club right you're at home yeah, or, or you're at not, one of your jobs, how, whatever that's you're just doing. not how I fucking, that's not how well, you I. You kind of got to get the vibe because. That's not how I have release for myself. Right, right, right. But I mean, sometimes you got to fucking keep an ear to the streets to see what's popping yeah, and what's yeah, not yeah. popping. I always you know, pop in the you know, club and, and peep shit. See what's good. But for the and most part, you're not, you're not turning up. Yeah. Rip no, D don't turn up unless no, he's on stage. No, no, unless there's money in it. That's, that's true. Both of those things are true. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. I just, well, I, I, I can't, man. I can't. It's not surrounding myself with, um, surrounding myself with people that aren't as motivated as me, um, can really kind of hold me down mm. and hold me back. And the thing about me is like, I'm so strong minded that I always try and bring my friends up and I always try and, but some people just don't want to get to that level. Some people don't want to commit to that harder work. Some people don't want to make those sacrifices. <clears throat> some people don't want to do all the things that are required to make us all fucking millionaires. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Like uh-huh. y'all, y'all can play the system and fucking take back gifts all y'all want. Like, to, you know what I mean? To get an extra $30 here and there. I don't want that. Like, I need to be fucking, I, I'm making the six figures a year. Like, right. that's where I need to be at. I hear that. Like, Amen. I'm not trying to be. I hear like, that. Amen. I'm, I'm not trying to. I, I posted the other day on, on social media. Um, 
anybody that's impressed by me taking a Southwest flight, I don't want to impress. I saw that. Because <laughs> I was like, yo, like, what are you guys doing? Like, you can book that with your debit card. Like, bro, like, it's not even that, but it's like, what are you, what are you focusing on? What's your fucking focus right now? Your focus is getting that clout to let people know that you're traveling. Right. But what are you doing with these travels? What? That was one of the questions I had. Clout chasing. How do you feel about oh, all man. that? Oh, man. It's the worst, bro. Yeah. Because I know these kids. Bro, I see these kids on fucking social media doing shit that are like, yo, I got a big announcement. Yo, I got this, this, and this. And then the same day, hit me up for an investment in their show. And I'm like, my dude. It's funny, and I still do it because I still get it back whenever yeah. it's there. But I'm like, what is going on here, man? Like, you guys are out here posting shit on IG, posting with, you know, buying fucking VIP meet and greets just to say, you, but you don't know these dudes. And I'm not hating on it. What I'm hating on is how backwards that's making people's career. You're focusing on the wrong act. You should be focusing on how are ways to level up because that's mm-hmm. all I think about. For me, I'm like, yo, what can I do to level up this year? Fuck what yeah. can I do? This is what I did. I toured with Dizzy last year. I toured with Demrick. I toured with fucking recognize I toured with all these people this year if I'm watching someone and, and I'm trying and I'm hating on myself if I'm being a hater to myself oh that's cool but um, Rip didn't have his own bus oh that's cool but Rip didn't hit half a million streams I'm, I'm trying to be a hater on myself so then I can keep giving these motherfuckers reason to be like oh really you're gonna say I didn't have a bus well we, we do now oh you're gonna say I didn't have this well we do now so the more I hate on myself, the more I know how to fucking level up. Because you know what you got to get next. Right, exactly. Mm. I, I'm my biggest fucking hater, bro. Mm. At the same time, like I'm my biggest fucking supporter. So if I all take right. all that hatred and figure it out, if I hate on myself first, then no, nothing anyone else can say to me it can't hurt me. Right. Mm. Like I'm ahead of that shit, bro. That's that Cheddar Bob shit. You know what I mean? Like exactly. It really is, bro. Like you're not going to say anything to me that's going to be like, oh man, my feelings are hurt. Like, mm-hmm. well. I'm rich. Fucking A, Ryan. I'm rich. I don't give a fuck. Ryan. <clears throat> <laughs> I, that's what I enjoy about the conversations I have with you. They kind of just flow. There's no really like, there's no really, uh, you know, complexity to it. It's just like, I, we were both in the same fields, <clears throat> both like-minded. We're both trying to make money for ourselves here in, you know, Tucson and that's why I respect you. And that's why I had you on the podcast, bro. Like I see people, like you said, stunning for the gram or whatever, but not too many people are actually doing what they're saying they're yeah. doing. And but and you are, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Definitely. So Thanks, that's yeah. why when Adi, when Adi fucking <clears throat> linked us up, bro, I was like, damn, you know what? I'm probably gonna know this fool for a long time just because <laughs> we can collaborate on a lot of different shit. I'm here, you know, man, I'm here for whoever fucking needs anything man and that's the thing is like the go-giver the go-giver is one of my favorite books man love that book dude bro like i I really try my hardest to live with that like a lot of that like making sure i'm giving and giving and giving and giving and you don't ask much you just ask to uphold your end of the that's it man deal you know and i think the more you hold people accountable again the better off you're making your network because it's like i might not have the strongest network of people but if i can turn my network into the strongest group of people then i'm fucking then I'm, I'm, I'm golden. Yeah, I'm fucking. You can't take anything from me because now I made my people. Right. Like I helped create these fucking monsters. Now we're a fucking team of monsters, bro. Mm. Like fuck that. Like y'all could take one of us out, and I'll replace him with another dude that's just as smart, just as talented, just as handsome, and just as brown as my ass. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like mm. straight up, man. But shit, I'm not fucking scared of a thing. Where can they uh, find you at on the social medias? Um, fuck at Ripty. R I P D E E. Where'd the name come from? Uh, when I was a kid, my uh, cousin was scratching a Rumple Stillskin record, and there's a part um, where she says Ripple D D, and he was just cutting it to say Rip D, and uh, I, I was like 10. So, oh. 13. That's what's up. <laughs> Maybe. So, but yeah. Freaky cheeky over here. Did you make the full? Have you made the full commitment yet? No, I was telling him I'm thinking about switching the DJ name to from Century to Freaky Cheeky because <laughs> that's my nickname. You know what I'm saying? Like from the, as a kid. So, and I'm freaky. You know, I mean that's a that's a fact. Whatever, no big deal. That's a different podcast. <laughs> how um, freaky are you? Though, I mean, <laughs> how how much time you got? You know, he talks about it on here before. Uh no 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 no. I don't ever talk. I never. 
I've been a gentleman. I never really, <laughs> I've never really, you know, delved that deep into my sexual Casually. encounters. Has he told, told you stories or what? Oh yeah, I know some. Good oh, shit. I've told him. Stories. I know some good shit, but it, yeah, it's not safe for the podcast. Yeah. We talked about some crazy shit on my podcast. Yeah, I heard some good shit on your podcast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We talked about some interesting things. You're the one that's not scared of butt play. Um, <laughs> I don't know if at this point in my life I'm okay with it, but at some points in my life I've definitely had like a finger in my butt. Whoa. Like, yeah. Some interesting things. <laughs> we don't sex shame here. But that's just we you know, don't. We don't. I mean, it was a girl. I, don't I hope. Happened, I mean, hey, it hey, happened by accident. You don't have to hey, explain. But I didn't oh, stop yeah. it. Well, hey, I'm hey. not. I'm not. I mean, it is what it is. Man. Sex posy. Listen, man. People are attracted to who they're attracted to. Exactly. And people enjoy what they enjoy. Hey, man. bro. Mm-hmm. I do not judge you and one bit. Not at all. Who fucking cares, bro? Right. As long as you're happy, right. like we can do what we got to do. Because most of the fucking, like, some of the gayest dudes I know could take anyone's bitch at any given time. Man. Oh, word? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, And then at the same time, like, you know, I don't know. I just, I feel like people do what they want. They should do what they want, man. Right. Who cares? It's a very really? short time that we have on this earth. <laughs> so you live the best life. That's what they call hoeing now these days, living your best life. Yeah, for yeah. real. <laughs> Oh yeah, man. All right. Well, fuck, man. Well, Dude, thank you for I'm coming on the too. on the on the podcast, man. Everybody, gotta give love to the homie Rib D here. Where do you spin at, and people can catch you? Um, Fridays at Hotel Congress. Fridays at Mister Heads. Um, early set at Mister Heads. Friday night at Hotel Congress. Second Saturdays at Cobra. Um, I throw shows at Solar Culture. If you're a rapper and you want to get on some shit. I feel like everything I say now deserves a pause since I talked about that last part. That's all right. Um, if you're a rapper and you would like to be a part of a show, uh, <laughs> just hit me up. <laughs> um, yeah, you can you can goldenartist.com, um, G-L-D-N, artist.com. Mm. Um, yeah, everywhere. Um, but yeah, mainly at Cobra. Oh, Illegal Pete's. There you go. There too. Um, How sad were they there at Pete's when the kick missed? I don't know. Shut the fuck up, man. Dude, we, gotta, we have to have a little shit. reference every just little sprinkle a little bit. <laughs> I, I, I delete all the shit. Triple doubles, bro. ASU right? shit. Get to, it just, I doubles. edit all that shit out. Nah, man. <laughs> ASU, they got to be proud of triple doubles and James Harden. Right? <laughs> Two things. Guard you. Fucking guard you, bro. You guys yeah, ranked right now? 20. We got Nevada on Saturday. That was on Saturday. Oh, no. Fr- yes. Oh, Friday. We'll it see. sucks because I got a cover for you at co- on oh, Congress. Yeah. I'm going to leave the house at like 10.30, maybe 10.15, so I'll probably watch like 15 minutes of the game. But I got the ESPN app, so I'm there straight. Go. He's going to be over there yeah. fucking up the mix watching ASU yeah, play and shit watch. I mean, a Better lot of times. focused, sir. A lot of times at Congress, you can, you can play shit pretty easily. Oh, no, but you know what, though? I wouldn't even give a fuck about the game because I'm going to be soap in the mix, bro. <laughs> it's just a different vibe when you spin there. It's good, man. Congress is just, it's it's just, um, it's the energy it right. has an aura, yeah. dude. Yep, yep. That energy is right, man. I worked very hard to like, you know, when I when I first started at Congress, bro. Like Congress was, uh, they were doing an i uh, 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 an iPad after the last band, and they would just let songs play. So and then they would be done at twelve. So there was nothing going on in the club, and then they had me uh, come in, and I would they would stop at like twelve, twelve thirty, one sometimes, and I would just play. And then I, I just started. I was like the only one in town playing like trap shit at the time on a Friday. You know what I mean? Like I was the only one not playing fucking dubstep remixes every fucking day. See, and I just don't understand how that's still the format. What do you mean? Around town. Like fucking hi-fi playground. Oh, fucking yeah. monk. That's like, that's what they want you. And even Chovies and yeah. Benz. Like yeah. that's the... That's the common theme. That's, that's a big thing for college. But the thing is, like, Congress is the only place that caters to locals. For sure. You know what I, mean? I go there even when I'm not DJing. Yeah, and locals and locals fuck with like uh, we're normal people. I don't want to hear that stuff all night. No, I don't. I don't either. You know. So let's get out of here. Man. All right, man. Well, this is DJ Sentry. I am the homie Casual. And you're listening to the Hood Diner podcast. Peace. Peace. Peace.